And for love's sake, oh, yeah. each mistake, coming to the ring, oh, you forgave, Weighing and soon in both now. of Wait, hold, hold us up, learn to trust, weighing in at 200 no and mad pounds, coming to the ring, now it's You've seen him in mad Kevin Hart movie. You guessed it. You've seen him in mad wrestling shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the <laughs> First of all, y'all already knew that I came to be silly. <laughs> no, 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 Microphone check. One, two, one, two. We are live in action. My apologies if uh, the frequency at which my voice is hitting the headphones is bothering you. You complaining ass niggas. The Joe Button Podcast, episode number 132. I'm guessing. Come yeah. on, Maul. Say yeah, something. I ain't heard from Maul in a year. Simone uh, 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 <laughs> don't say nothing and he's on a podcast. Uh, 132, right? 132. Right? Confirmed. Uh, and we are here live in action. To my left is Rory, a.k.a. Irish McNasty, a.k.a. Feral, a.k.a. <laughs> Rory Lanes, a.k.a. You've got mad AKs. I know. Way. Three years of this podcast. You know RL from uh, Next has a baby named Rory Lanes? That has red hair. Uh, yeah, they have pub. an Instagram account you and everything. Get your pub. Yeah, I feel kind of a way. <laughs> I feel a way. How you going to get pub on a baby? <laughs> <laughs> have a Jewish lawyer. And uh, I didn't know that somehow. No, I don't have a Jewish lawyer. No, somehow. Oh. <laughs> the RL. You should get one. You bitches are so phony. Remember when all the bitches wanted to fuck RL? See, you too young to remember that. No, I remember when R.O. was popping. <laughs> For real? Yeah. No, you no way. When you Next not. was popping? No, 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 you, no, no, you right. don't. No, you don't. Right, no, you, don't. you guys right. think no. I was born in 2015 for some yeah, reason. Yeah, but I was like 12. Butter Love came out in what year? 97? Some shit yeah. like that. 96, 97. Rory was not getting pussy in 97. Next Too Close wasn't popping when I was uh, in... You were like six. No. Too Close was popping at my first baby mom's. That's how I bagged my first baby mom. Both Too Close. That's <laughs> just a little... The record <laughs> lasted too till, close. Till my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Close? That's how you yeah. got it. I didn't even think that was, that was funny. <laughs> That's funny. Why? That was the truth. Because I could just see you trying to spit game while that record is going. <laughs> you mad corny? No, see, <laughs> that's corny. why next and R and and too close was such a phenomenal record. Because you didn't. I didn't spit any game. Right. I was trying to figure out game for at least seven months, and then that record came out. And that's and all I had to do was dance and that's while back, that record was Yeah, on. that's back when niggas was dancing in the yeah, club, too. What? So. Yeah, what? Wait. See, I, this, we off on a tangent now, but how do the new niggas dance with girls? They I, don't. I, they, I, don't. They, don't. they don't. Honestly. They, they don't. don't. They jump up and down in their section. You are kidding me. They buy We've bottles. been through this. We did this. Last, we talked about this last podcast. But they're not dancing with girls? No, they no buy they're jumping up and down with their phones in their hands girls next twerk, to the girl. girls. twerk with each other. You know how you dance with somebody? You put them on this snap. Like you hold your phone up and then you put her on it and like that's how y'all dubbed. Yo, you fucking little fuckity fucks have killed dancing with women. <laughs> yeah, it's over. Bad it's, enough, y'all. It's over for dancing with women. <laughs> bad enough, yeah, you. Holy right. shit. Bad enough, you fucks killed off Toys R Us. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Toys R Us. How do you fucking kids hate toys? FAO Schwartz. <laughs> they killed everything, man. Yeah, these yeah. kids are fucking idiots. Wait, FAO Schwartz is over? Yeah, <laughs> shit ain't on Fifth Avenue no, no more. That shit ain't downtown no more. Damn, that's foul. Why won't over. kids play with toys though? You millennials, because we got iPads, bro. Yeah. Every month, some report comes out about what the millennials don't like. Like, oh, millennials hate titties. That, that, <laughs> that was dogs. crazy. That was crazy. You did see that, right? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Millennials. Rory, answer for this stuff. Who, do, who hates <laughs> titties? That's not possible. Ain't you in the millennial thing? No. I think technically, I right. think technically, you're a millennial. If you're rolling with the new, you know they put out revisionist history. They need to. Yeah. Where millennial is eighty? No, millennial's not eighty. What's millennial then? Eighty-one. <laughs> 
So just the that year that a, you're not. Uh, all right, <laughs> that's okay. what you landed if on. If, no, if I'm wrong, oh, tell I don't know me, what it is. I just thought you were in it. When I was born, millennial started at 81. They changed it recently to mean something that I don't know because I was closed minded. So you like titties, <laughs> but everyone in 1981 does not. Is what you're saying? You know, it's funny. I don't really love titties. <laughs> I like titties the way every other man likes titties. You know, I've had this titty conversation a lot this week because women don't know what being a titty guy is. <clears throat> women yeah. think if you yeah, just yeah, like yeah, titties, yeah. you're a titty guy. Mm -hmm. And that's incorrect. Men like titties. My, my dad is a <laughs> Everyone likes my dad titties. is an ass guy and he says tits are for kids. That's usually what he says with his crazy. Well, I understand the, the thinking because what do you do with titties during sex? <laughs> Grab them and out, yeah. Outside of grabbing them and sucking L on them, look at them as they have some <laughs> women. That's... Look at them. That's all right. We're all <laughs> all right. To my right is Maul. Hi, <laughs> hi, Maul. Are we still? Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't introduce Maul. Uh, across from Maul is Parks. Across from Parks is fucking Chris. Behind Chris is Siobhan. Behind Siobhan is E. And next to E is Savon. That I didn't know mad. rhymed with Siobhan. <laughs> mad Vons. It's mad weird. But anyway, we are here. How is everyone doing? Wonderful. Happy Wednesday. Happy Salutations Wednesday. to everyone, right? Air horns for everyone. Where is my air horn? Here it is. <laughs> now, we have really, really serious business to get to. Do we? Yes, Small. All right, we do. It. Is it about titties? No, Parks. It is not. Now, actually, we have a lot of serious issues to get to. Before we get to... The catastrophic goings-ons in Dallas with Jerry Jones and Jamel Hill. Before we get to our investigative reporting to get to the bottom of and uncover the Nelly scandal. <laughs> Way more pertinent business to get to here, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all don't understand me. Y'all not feeling me. Y'all not feeling me. They playing with you? So, yeah. I don't understand. They're not, they they not feeling they me. They're not ready for me. We weren't ready. <laughs> the streets wasn't ready. Listen, y'all laughing, right? But I asked this question on whatever podcast that was that our trusty, uh, not intern, but, well, Savon told us what podcast I said this in, but I asked you gentlemen who would win in a fight between The Rock and and Tyrese. This was episode 120. Everyone laughed at you. At me. We were Everyone first, called me a fool. We were the first people to... I think we kind of broke this story. We did. We definitely yeah, added a few. We did. Right we did break we this fucking story. This, this is like a beat nobody was gas on for sure. Yeah, nobody cared. <clears throat> but y'all two laughed at me. Especially when, when you, you said the, who, could, who would win in a fight. And here we are, nigga. I think The Rock is winning. Uh, what fight are you watching? <laughs> the same fight you watching. <laughs> For the listeners out there and the viewers who do not have context, let me help you guys. You might have missed that podcast where we broke this story. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, and Tyrese, Tyrese Gibson are going to fight. They're going to collide. <laughs> Why? Collide is just funny. They will collide. Okay. Uh, Maul and Rory bet on The Rock. In a physical fight. Fools. Yes. I'm taking The Rock. Fools. <laughs> Fools gold they sign up to so easily. I take The Rock. I mean, uh, not The Rock. Who do I take? Tyrese, right? So these niggas are going to fight. This is over Fast and Furious Part 29. Let me give you, uh, pass me there the- There might uh, be more Fast and Furious than this Unit Radio 35 Fast and the Furious is. This was the first uh, post to pop Some it Some of them ain't even about cars. One of them was about karate. <laughs> <laughs> it's never, it's never <laughs> been about cars after One didn't have <laughs> anyone from any Fast and Furious. It was just some guy from Texas with Lil Bow Wow oh in uh, Japan. Yeah. Bow Wow was in one of them. That's how, yeah, that's trash. <laughs> with, the quarter, one, with the quarterback <laughs> from Friday Night Lights. Whichever one he was in. Sorry, Bow Wow, you my man. About the... Come on, Rory. Uh, put your passcode in here. Thanks, Rory. I'm reading this from Rory's phone, by the way. Okay, so Tyrese posts from his page. Is this the right one? That's the first one that popped it off. 
Tyrese says, and I quote, Congratulations to At The Rock and your brother-in-law, a.k.a. Seven Bucks, producing partner at H. Garcia 41 for making the Fast and Furious franchise about you. In caps was you, by the way. And like you, DJ, even if they call, <laughs> I will not be deleting this post. What was his, his man's, the goon that he added in the last one? <laughs> that made know. him delete everything? <laughs> what was his name? That was The Rock <laughs> that made him delete everything. Exactly. He ain't tell us. Good night, folks. See you in 2020. April. Hashtag. Fast family, right? Question mark? Nah. <laughs> it's about hashtag and then say nah. It's about hashtag Team Dwayne. Three years. Will it be worth the wait? <laughs> <laughs> if I still had the <laughs> din, 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 I swear to God I would press it right now. But I don't have it. Oh, wait, do I have it? Time for... Oh, oh, no, I don't have it. We it. Uh, give me the next one. All right, so... No, the Rock, I think... Now, wait. I'm, no, no, no. Just give me all Tyrese's. I don't want The Rock okay. shit. Give me Tyrese next. The, the so, Rock was tweeting, and then this... I don't... Next. Listen, fuck what you're talking about. My pick, Tyrese, started a yet again with aggression. Say something more. I'm waiting to hear what you're saying. You say something, listen, Rory. Man, say said, something, Savon. Uh, what are you, niggas? That shit was deleted. Already, when he said he wasn't going to delete it, he deleted all the other shit. Wait, then my nigga Tyrese said he's on Twitter and won't hit my cell at The Rock. He's adding him, Rory. Wait, wait. This is the people's champ? <laughs> question, <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, Hashtag Shaw Hobbs epic failure. You came here to break up the Fast Family Mall. <laughs> And Lenny S. <laughs> <laughs> now. Here, here we go again. <laughs> now. Yeah, Lenny S is getting dragged into everything. I don't care. Say something. Somebody say something. That sounds like Tyrese is ready to beat the dog shit out of the rock. That Why didn't he like do it Tyrese last time? Tyrese was waiting for a phone call that's not coming. He was talking tough. The only way to get in The tough. rock made him delete yeah, everything. Said. Now he back being Twitter fingers. Yeah, like that don't The that rock don't. On, on Twitter like it don't matter. The, so Rock, the Rock's is. still recording, still filming. Like he ain't paying Tyrese no money. Yeah. Tyrese. Fuck with these niggas talking about. You know where he lives, dog. <laughs> yeah. For real. You don't think he knows where he lives? He don't know where he lives. All right, so go over there yeah. with yeah, this song blasting. <laughs> go over this part right here. We with a boombox in your hand. Hold up. Hold up, nigga. We will, we will rock you. Nigga, they gonna put all types of Tyrese's ass and show up at the Rock Prophet. That motherfucker. Playing that fucking song. He's gonna put hands, they feet, gonna, elbows, they knees. Gonna, <laughs> listen, man. Headlocks, biceps. Tyrese gonna have to go live from his hospital bed, man. He can't tweet nothing. Fingers broke everything. Listen. We're not done with the Tyrese tweets and Instagram. Oh, Tyrese has more? <laughs> There's more. All right, wait a minute, man. If Tyrese is going to get busy like this, hold up hold up a second. I didn't know that Tyrese had was this aggressive. <laughs> He's not answering his phone calls. You, you, I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come oh. on. Coming to the <laughs> ring. Uh, <laughs> weighing in <laughs> mad dark skin. <laughs> <laughs> You've He's seen his skin tone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta weigh the uh, skin tone. Fuck it. You've seen him on the Coca Cola bus. Coca Cola bus. You've seen him in Baby Boy. The Transformers breaking up TGT. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Tyrese Gibson. And I think this song is dedicated to The Rock. I think he That's thinks The lady. Rock is indeed his sweet lady. Say something, more. Huh. No? <laughs> Nothing to say, right? Okay. All right. Take your... Oh, uh, here. Press this button. Whatever's happening here. Tyrese has more to say. I don't care if y'all think that this is silly. I think that this is investigative journalism. Tyrese says, and I quote, with a picture of mad niggas 
that is that doesn't include him. Yes, it's a it's the cast of Fast and the Furious Tyrese, without him in Tyrese it. Tyrese does post a lot of Paul Walker pictures. I will say that. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. And I won't go further into that because Tyrese DMs me. But he does a little. You know what I mean? That's why. That's why you picked him in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's winning in the Tyrese Joe Budden fight? Shut up, Rory. <laughs> Tyrese says, and I quote: "Diversity, <laughs> love, multi-ethnic, worldwide, multi-generational, <laughs> united nation." He just named it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> One fish, two fish. <laughs> <laughs> Ramen noodles. What right. does this nigga say? All right, hold on. United Nations. One one race. Fast family. Until Dwayne showed up, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this whole time. Until Dwayne showed up. I guess this whole time he had a problem because he wasn't the only one on the movie poster. I guess dreams do come true. Congratulations to H. Garcia and The Rock. You guys are just amazing. You really broke up the fast family. I tried to warn you guys. You thought I was hating. <laughs> you, you was hating. <laughs> <laughs> I was simply fighting to keep the family together. What makes us great is when you see us all together. We don't fly solo. That picture Has- doesn't even have them in it. Yeah, he's not, even, he, <laughs> hey, lady, he's not in the picture. Yeah, he's not in the picture. Hashtag my like last three, post. Three of those people died in the movie, in like the second movie. And in real life. Like three of these people are dead. It's <laughs> <laughs> not funny, but. <laughs> Good thing we don't get sponsor money. <laughs> anyway, hashtag my last post today. I got three years of venting on this clown. Now, Maul, Rory, answer something. Tyrese sounds aggressive. Tyrese sounds like he's with the shits. Oh, no, this was next, Maul. This was next. Why are you showing me? This right. was next. But no, 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 no. But, but first, so now, right? <sighs> yeah. Keep your enemies close, man. Listen, no one wins when the family feuds. So. Hove was trying to tell The Rock. As predicted, here comes Tank. <laughs> <laughs> As predict, because this I was mean, a because we just sure. knew Tank was coming. Right. And shout out to Tank. He texts me from time to time, so I can't go too far with this. <laughs> but why is Tank in this? <laughs> what do you the, mean? The why? same reason because they're in everyone's beef. <laughs> Tank been wanting to snuff Tyrese. Tell the truth. Somebody say it. Yeah, Nobody I gonna say so. it, right? I think so. We know Tank want to snuff Tyrese. Them niggas just need to fight. Yeah. All right. So here comes Shit, who Tank. Who in a TGT fight? Here comes Tank saying, and I quote, well, with a picture of his naked torso. I don't understand the picture that people choose, but. <laughs> he or a beast singer. He's allowed to get away with yeah, it. Yeah, he chose that picture. Yeah, but you can't choose that at 45. <laughs> what you mean? Well, he's, he's showing well, that he's ready for the, yeah, the Hobbs movie. Hobbs. I don't want to look at he Tank could fight Hobbs. Nipples. All right. Tank says, having a real fan moment at the moment, guys. At The Rock spoke on my request. If it goes no further than this, God, I'm thankful. You know, niggas always want to bring up God. <laughs> Blessings to you, brother. Hashtag Hobbs Shaw. How do we feel about this, knowing that Tank of all, hates Tyrese and that we won't get another TGT album? And he's TGT talking to album. A, a movie character. <laughs> Shout out to Hobbs. That's not a real person, bro. Yeah, it's all creepy. Now, do we think Tyrese can beat up Tank? And Tank is my man. I'm going to go with Tyrese, bro. Tank my man, too. But Tyrese from Watts. I'll give him that. Yeah, Tank, may, maybe, maybe I deserve. So, nigga, you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, t- and Tyrese is clearly high. So, I don't think he's feeling nothing. But wait. In, so, in then, that's crap. so, then a girl says to, t- to Tank... That's not cute. Everyone knows how much this means to Tyrese because of his friend he lost. Just remember, God doesn't like ugly, and well, as he's, he's given this, he can take a myth away. So with that being said, and then the tank says, as an actor, you're saying it's wrong for me to ask for a job? Mad question marks. Wait, Tank is an actor? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tank is not a fucking actor. He's done a few sh- uh, he's few no, series. Like shows. You've been in a few series. Oh, Are no, you Tank was in, uh, wasn't Tank in uh, the new edition shit? 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah actor. All right, I'll count. give him that. I'll give him that. Wait, he, he, he was in the New Edition. He, <laughs> he was in a show on on BT. Like he acts. He Maul. <laughs> y'all mad? He had on a Maul. very bad wig in that acts. New Edition movie. Maul is the nigga that want the fake New Edition to stop parading around <laughs> while the real New Edition is alive yeah, and well. So don't tell but me those about- are actors though. They're actors. He was. What was he acting as? A singer? No, Tank, he's a fucking singer. No, Tank wasn't acting as a singer. No, he was the label head, and he was on that BET show. He was like, he had on the, the okay, he had oh. on a lace front. He looked, he right. killed the shit. Nah, I'm not talking about that. Are y'all about this? It was a lace front though. <laughs> he definitely had a lace front. Duh, Tank doesn't have any hair. Duh. Tank don't have any hair. No. All right, I don't <laughs> care about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about Tank's hair. What were we just talking about just now? Oh, acting, exactly. acting. Yeah. What else has he been in, Maul, since you want to argue this now? I mean, he's done. I mean, he hasn't had any, like, crazy roles, but uh, that one series on H, I mean, on BET, he was. Is Tank an actor enough to avoid his fucking blatant and obvious Tyrese beef and what this angling and positioning is with saying, someone bro, who's already he's just trying to with further with expand. <laughs> that motherfucker know, being petty. That's all he's trying to further expand his acting career. Tyrese was in the same boat at one point. What boat was that? Same boat Tank is in. He was a singer. He transitioned into being an actor. Tank trying to do Woo. the same I think all these songs are to the rock. <laughs> okay. Lately, nigga, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Listen, man, if these niggas really fight, which, I mean, the rock is not that type of guy. I don't think he's. How do you know what type of guy he is? The rock ain't paying him any mind. How the fuck do you know? Yeah, you Clearly, you're not answering my texts, my calls. Like, he's not paying Tyrese any mind. Hey, The Rock. I can't imagine life. Would you trying me and breaking up the fast family, nigga? I'll fucking kill you. All right. The Rock says, all right, here we go. We have words from The Rock. This is mad days later. This is after he reports with his fucking publicists, his media right. people. And this is what he gives us, right? And it's a picture of, I didn't even see the fucking picture here. Let's see here. All right, here we go. The Rock says, daddy's got to go back to work. <laughs> Hobbs pumped to expand and build out the Fast and Furious universe in a cool exciting way with our Seven Bucks production writer producer Chris Morgan producer Hiram Garcia and lead producer and my bigger twin Neil Moritz alright Tyrese twin? you lost already because he's shouting out the check grabbers. <laughs> he's shouting out the niggas. Every show that, yeah, yeah, he's getting it done. He's shouting out all the people that stabbed you in the back to work with him. So or yeah, haven't sexually assaulted yeah. a woman so, yet. Yeah, you have to be mad at these. Roy, that was a horrible joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to be mad at these people too, Tyrese. Okay. He continues. Thank you, Universal Studios in caps. Tyrese, he's killing you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Wait. How, how you let him shout out Universal? They can't shout the label out. They retweeted it, too. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you, Universal Studios, for ridding me of that headache type. Oh, all right. I said, <laughs> for being tremendous partners who see the big picture and for coming to us years ago with this spinoff idea, Tyrese. You been out the plans. <laughs> they came to me in 2001. I've been letting you eat. That's what he's saying if you need me to break this you down. You're like the seventh lead in Fast Night yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, this is crazy, Tyrese, but I'm, I'm on your side. Listen to this. Uh, years ago, this has been off of that. Huge shout to my brother, Jason Statham. Oh, wait, that's the other superhero f- guy, right? It's the White yeah, Rock, yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> he's the White Rock? He's the White Rock. Oh, yeah, the Rock isn't white. I always forget that. <laughs> the White Rock. <laughs> He's he, the one that has all. He he'd be the bad guy in mad movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is the White Rock. <laughs> that is who Jason Statham is. Hundred percent. Just like the less D. He's like, oh, whatever. It's like walk. <laughs> he he probably took a couple rolls of Vin Diesel too. Boy. He's like walk. What's wrong with you, man? Walk. What's wrong He's with you? Not rock. I got it. I got it. I got <laughs> no, we got to say it again. All right, we got all right, the all right, Let me get my phone. Let me get my phone. All right, let's see. What's what's happening? Jason Statham is still alive. All right. <laughs> For real. When is the last time y'all saw Jason Statham? With The Rock. That's like seeing Bloodsport Part 4 or some shit. Jason Statham. I did. Huge. This nigga's still shouting people out. Uh, Jason Statham. Oh, huge shout to Jason Statham for the trust 
and wanting to create and deliver something fresh and badass for the fans. Only The Rock gets away with saying the badass. badass. <laughs> yeah, only him. I have a tremendous amount of respect for this franchise that I've enjoyed dropping blood and sweat in over the years. And my vision is to create greater opportunities for not only my fellow Fast and Furious castmates. And Kevin Hart. But for other <laughs> amazing actors as well who want to be a part of something new and cool. The Rock is so full of shit. Anyway, I want to use my spinoff platform, you fucking piece of shit failure, Tyrese Gibson, <laughs> to create new characters better than you. <laughs> what, what exactly is your character I, in what, Best of yeah, I What been, do you do? I've been one of your character out of here, Tyrese. <laughs> I'm trying to put new niggas, not your TGT head ass. <laughs> Tyrese gonna whoop your ass, Joe. Tyrese is texting me now. All right, wait a minute. I want to use my spinoff platform to create new characters that fans will ultimately love to have fun with in multiple chapters and platforms. Ty Tyrese, film, have fun. TV, digital, virtual reality. The more opportunities we can create, the better for the fans. Smart business. Let's have some fun. And to quote Hobbs, the boss. <laughs> If you don't like it. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That was a mistake. <laughs> Boy, I didn't even mean that. To quote Hobbs the boss, if you don't like it, we're happy to beat that ass like a Cherokee drum. <laughs> he said Cherokee these, drum. These are the signs of love and betrayal. Yeah, that's what he said. Why didn't Tyree see the signs? <laughs> <laughs> What's the rock sign? Man? Why didn't let's, Tyrese? Let's find out. Tyrese, why didn't you know, man? These are the signs of love and betrayal. These are the signs of a nigga kicking you off the movie, man. Right. Kicking you out the cast. Is he, is he an Arius? <laughs> is he a Gemini? Maybe that's why this nigga stopped on Scorpio like that. If the rock is a Scorpio, this song is about to the be real different. The rock definitely has a scorpion tattooed on his Savon, arm. I'm sure of it. Find out the rock's uh, zodiac sign, please. Yes. Finding out the rock zodiac then, then clear your internet history. Yeah, <laughs> That's a sick ass task to ask another man. Yeah. Listen, uh, Savon, find out the rock's favorite dish. The and, other uh, intern just got coffee. If he's free Wednesday, because I want to take him out. I was gonna look it up, but I I couldn't be that soft. Wait, man. oh shit. That is a sick ass task, number one. But wait, sidebar, this has nothing to do with nothing, right? For the last five weeks, every time I talk to Rory, he's headed to the gym, right? Mm -hmm. So I always laugh at him. Because, like, shut up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because, shut up. Who, I, like, I didn't ask you, yes, you where did. you were going. He said, what are you what doing? What you were doing. Like, he just volunteers. Yo, I'm in the gym right now. Uh, here we go with Joe lying again. Right? Right? So that's fine. I pay it no mind until y'all niggas keep being funny today, right? So I keep having to lean over. Rory's bum ass back is all hard. His fucking arm is all extra toned. If this nigga don't get, he keeps trying to get extra strong as I lean in there. If you don't let out of here, man. He won't let you know it ain't I, sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of Rory so, shit. That's hey, I picked the rock right side. That's I'm trying to get that, that Hobbs movie. working out for about two weeks. Niggas yeah. definitely do stand this a little strong. Me yeah, with the, I'm like, damn, I feel yeah. bad for even leaning on it now. First, because I got to take my tank photo to okay, pitch yeah. to the rock to this be in the Hobbs movie. fucking crazy. Rory State them. <laughs> <laughs> Rory Rock. All right, listen. Rory Rock. Uh, I guess I, I I have to keep you guys posted with this. Uh, Tyree's gonna beat the shit out of the Rock. I mean, that's just what has to happen. If point. a Fast and Furious movie hits the fucking screen and Tyrese ain't there, we got ten years till it happens. They <laughs> <laughs> got mad time. They definitely doing three right. Hobbs movies before all, that. All jokes aside, all right, let's stop joking for a minute. And I've talked about this way longer than I want to talk about it. But it's funny though. Is it shady if The Rock if he came worked. in and got his own his no, own shit? Man, it's not shady. It's a spinoff. No, not shady. It ain't a spinoff if you stop the other one. <laughs> no, <laughs> then it's that's... it's just spun off. I just want to know why why Tyrese is saying he's breaking up the family. I don't understand why he keeps saying because that. the Rock is trying to invite new and cool, <laughs> fresh actors like to Tank. bring innovative ideas that would be cool and badass. I think Fast and Furious <laughs> needs. What talking about? I think that's what Fast and Furious needs. When is the ideas. last time you've seen a Fast and Furious? I saw the last one. Oh, you are whack. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the last one's the one with the last Paul Walker one, right? Or was it no one idea. after that? I don't know. It's yeah, one after that? Know, I'll never know who oh, I, I'll never know who Maul is. What do you mean? <laughs> Everybody had to go see the one the last one Paul that, Walker. That's the it. movie we had to rush yeah, to, huh? You had to go see that. Why? Because Paul Walker died? But I mean you just had you're to see the guy how it went. They, you're I just the guy to see how the story went. That information for. No, I just wanted to like, see how the story went. But I didn't know it was one after that. I didn't see the one after that. When he when they told you Heath Ledger died before the movie came out, you was like, "Oh man, this is the, let's go." Well, let's, wait, let's hold go. on. Is Joe absolutely. making a conspiracy theory about movie rollouts? No, I'm <laughs> I'm saying every single time somebody dies on the set of a movie and they leak that information, I say, "Who are they leaking this for?" It's well, more. They're, they're, they're actors. It's not they're, leaking information. Not, the, the dude. In I always, the movie. I, I, I always died. think. I yeah, but I always think it's like tasteless. So they shouldn't say that Paul Walker passed away. Paul, yeah. Well, they should just keep that information no, secret. No, I'm not really talking about that one. But on uh, on uh, Dark Knight or whatever that Heath was, Ledger was they one hundred percent marketed that movie behind the death of Heath Ledger. No, that happened. They didn't have to market the, the Batman markets itself. Once you say a new Batman is coming out, it don't matter who died. Everybody's going to see it. That's just one of those movies. Batman now, the is crow, just that type of movie. You have something with the crow. No one was going to see that. But a, yeah, the crow. I didn't see the crow. Who cares about the crow? What is that even about? It was actually a good movie. <laughs> Yo, when did you become Ebert? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, what, the crow was who, a good who, movie. Why are you the nigga that, why are you the movie expert? I'm not saying that Fast and Furious. I'm, I'm saying Fast and Furious needs some new type of, it's it, it's the same shit. Now they're not, like you said, it's not even about cars no more. These niggas is doing all types of shit. With, like, Man, film it in the Bronx. <laughs> that would be great. That should be it would, I would watch it. Or Jersey. Them niggas New would, Jersey them Drive. Niggas be a yeah. whole lot of deaths. <laughs> take take Fast and Furious to New Jersey. Uh, <laughs> are we gonna Are we gonna uncover the Nelly rape scandal? <laughs> we should Let's dive uncover in there. it. All I don't right. really have a lot of Were information. You, tell us what I, happened. I don't know. So you, all right, just heard he was a, he was locked. Right. It came it came rape. at the wrong time. Because most rape charges come. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's, that, there's no good time came, to be arrested for rape. No, no, no. And his de- of people believing him really because if you watch the video hours before, he's creepily like twirling Dakota Fanning's hair on stage. It's like that creepy uncle at the barbecue that keeps saying, "Oh, you look just like your mother." He's on stage with this young girl singing to her in the face that made me really uncomfortable. Then the rape charge came two hours later. I was like, "All right, man, Nelly's kind of fucking." Wild. <laughs> <in my head. laughs> yeah. I think that's that's why they put that video out though. After that shit came out, I, they trying I to was. Bring him down? Yeah, they was trying to give us some validity. Like, look at him; he's on stage with a young girl and playing with her hair. I mean, those those videos are very uncomfortable though. Yeah, but I mean, I, I someone know. look up the lyrics to over and over again. Rape, um, why was rape he singing is such that? To a, her? It's rape is such a uh, sensitive, like it's super sensitive. It's like it's you can't really talk about it without somebody getting offended. Yeah. Uh, with his answer, I kind of. Kind of believe him. What's his answer? Do you think I did that dumb shit? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I'm telling you what happened. <laughs> Come on, man. I didn't, there are the records. <laughs> I didn't do Come it. on, man. What? The signs are there. I'm listening. I'm listening the to the signs Roy. are there. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stop for this nigga. Fuck us up. Uh, <laughs> uh, us. <laughs> shit. Unless you're going to do it. <laughs> He's had a couple lines. Tip drill. Come on, that didn't man. go too well. Ne- ne- I, I, listen, rape again is a sensitive thing, but I don't think Nelly would have to rape someone. I don't think anybody oh, has here, to rape. Here anybody. comes them all. No, I'm just saying. I don't. Come on. It, on it, was it on his tour bus too? Like was it? Yeah. On his tour? I, come on. Man. Tour buses do get pretty hot. Relax. His defense. Man. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. This rape charge makes that oh <laughs> mad funny. Wait, let's listen again. No, <laughs> let's listen again. Wait, the O is wild. <laughs> that sound like they he he's organized the rape. <laughs> let's go, y'all. <laughs> that don't sound like that. No, man. All right, fine. Uh, of course we don't think Nelly did this. No. Nothing, nothing remotely. Is that all our inv- investigative reporting? Yeah, I, 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 I feel like that should be it on that Nelly rape shit. Let's like, well, come you, on, hold get on. the fuck out of He here. was on a country music tour. Like, of, of course, <laughs> that's not the best place for Nelly to be at. Shit been wild on the country tour this year. <laughs> Mad rapes is on the country <laughs> tour. 
doesn't behoove uh, Nelly to go on a the whitest tour of all time. And twiddle the little white girl's hair <laughs> on the then stage. Try to twiddle a girl. I tried yeah, to, to I me, tried. that's more. Like, that, let's talk about that more. That yeah. was a, that was. To me, I'm that's not like, the one that should dive into it. That's the that's, two that was very was, just aw- just weird. That was that was that's weird. weird. I didn't get that. I didn't Nelly get going out of country. You could bring a little girl on stage and whatever songs. Oh. I think the lyrics were like you're, you're beautiful. Something, whatever it was. But it's like you don't have to play with the hair and. That's what I they found to be fucking crazy. creepy fucking questions. Like, come on. You can bring a girl stay. You could have held her hand, walked them out of stage, and did all that. Do you talk to your teachers? Like, right. Fan, what? <laughs> hot and <laughs> So hot. Hey! I don't love now. Let me hit the applause button. <laughs> all right. Oh, hold up. Nelly? <laughs> Nelly? <laughs> Turn off Nelly. All right. Mound of applause for our lovely fucking guest who is not officially here because we have not introduced you yet. Yeah. And I kind of like it like that because I have so much shit to talk about you <laughs> to your face. I saved it all. Did you? How? Are you kidding me? Oh, I have. Bridget, I'm I here. have had a list. I'm here to be your lawyer. Today. Oh, you and you, you're going to need one. <laughs> oh, you're going to need one. I'm here uh, to be your lawyer. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're going to need two of those. Uh, but all right, let's close uh, Nelly and, and rape. <laughs> but back to our rape expert. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> what? Hold on. You got me what fucked up. I didn't even say more. You looked at you me, look though. Right at How the fuck you mean? <laughs> nigga, don't look at me. <laughs> so you, you wait. You can't be the rape expert. Uh, no, nigga. All right, so let's just throw it to Maul then. No, <laughs> don't throw it to me. <laughs> don't throw it to me. <laughs> Our right. senior rape analyst. <laughs> Our senior rape analyst, Maul. Our rape correspondent. <laughs> See why we need women on this podcast? This, this, this is, is making me This shouldn't be a joke. This shouldn't be a joke. But wait, only mind you, we're only joke joking about this because yeah, we believe Nelly, these like, charges Nelly. are erroneous. We yeah. know Nelly. Well, I know Nelly. I don't believe him to have done these things. Uh, and neither do the police, which is why they let him go. Right. <laughs> so well, let me be very clear on that. Now, on to T.I.'s point that he made. And T.I. is the unofficial mayor of hip hop because on his Instagram, he's the mayor of hip hop, I guess. He says big words. Yeah, he he, yeah, words. yeah, I mean, we don't it's challenge him. So, I mean, <laughs> it just is what it is. Uh, T.I. says that. Lying about these offenses should be a chargeable offense. I agree. How does the room yeah. feel? I agree. I feel sure. whatever, whatever the man is facing, how many years he's facing, if he's found to be innocent oh, well. and you lied, you, the woman should have to uh, do that time again. Yeah, that's a bit excessive. Why is that excessive? <laughs> why is that excessive? Tell me why uh, that's excessive. Because it's not going to happen. I, I agree. I I'm played saying devil's it advocate, should happen. Though. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It should. I played devil's advocate. That will that stop a lot of women from screaming w- Women are already... Rape. Scared to come out about rape, that might make them even more scared, because there are a lot of rape charges that go that are true that go unconvicted. That's true. So now I got to do I time. Think, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, because if you got raped, no, 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 it should I'm be saying, pretty I'm easy women, to prove you got raped. I'm mm, talking about the women that no, lie. About no, because if you don't get a rape kit right away, <laughs> all right. Clearly, none of you are the senior rape <laughs> <Listen, laughs> yeah, experts. Uh, let's just leave this one alone. All right. Uh, we though, clearly need a I rape think, expert. I do think that. They shouldn't put anyone's names out there until a decision in court is done. Because even if you're accused of rape and it comes out that you it wasn't true, yeah, you're they, you're a rapist for the rest of your life. People just look at you as a rapist. So I think until that, yeah, because people still comes refer out, to Kobe as a rapist. Yeah, which is crazy to me. But so I think <laughs> wait, that, why is that crazy to you? Because he didn't rape anyone. That's but, why. That's but crazy he was. To me. <laughs> Yeah, but if I if you didn't do it, how would you still Frank Frank man over here? I'm just saying, if you didn't do it, how am I still tagged? Because he was charged with it, so that's my that's my. You don't see how some people still would view him that way? No. Well, that's to my point of saying there shouldn't be any names out there until it comes out the decision in court. You're not going to keep someone famous's name out of someone's good. The intern talking about a perfect world, man. Yeah, no. It should be a Harvey Weinstein. It's been a rapey fucking week. Harvey That's Weinstein bad. is nasty. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, you know when Lil B called Joe a nasty man? Nah, <laughs> yeah. Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein is is a nasty man. He's not nasty. He's a nasty, a nasty man, man, Joe. That's just, nasty. Look at his face. He's on the TV right now. Look at him. He just looks nasty. I think I'm going to take a shower. You sit he, there and have a drink. He look like he smell like cold. Then cuts. have a glass of water. No, you must come here now. 
Now, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> no, come in here. Well, I've said this all before. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right, Go to the right. bathroom. Go to the bed. Hey, come here, <laughs> bitch. What listen she's saying to me. is crazy. Well, I you go read what she's saying. I don't feel uncomfortable, honey. It's don't nothing. have a, don't, it's don't not have nothing. a fight it's... with me. I am not going to do anything. I swear on my children, and then I love them. Come here. On everything, I'm, I'm a feeling guy. very uncomfortable right now. Please come in now and one minute. And if you want to leave, when the guy why yesterday jacket, did you touch my breast? You can go. Oh, please. I'm sorry about that. Left. Just I come on left. in. I'm used you're to used that. to that. Come on, please. Yes, I want in. I will never do another thing to you. Five minutes is all I need. Don't ruin your friendship with me for five minutes. I am Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we this were able to read funny. that. That's a nasty We read that that nasty way nasty because way. it just so happens to be on a CNN screen that's directly across from us. That but wasn't planned. <laughs> now, if he didn't get caught with this, I know y'all niggas have said some of the same verbiage. At yeah, some point. Some yeah, but, I, but I, the I've, woman, sa- I've said all of that uh, to someone but the when woman, I was 24. The, like, that's we, crazy. we all told her to come in the bathroom for a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I didn't touch her titty the day before. Every last like, one no. of us <laughs> have said, hey, just five minutes. I thought we was fly. Come in the bathroom just a second. <laughs> Nobody said that. Only him. Only us, me and him. <laughs> Joe and Harvey. told a, a female to oh, come in the bathroom. I have. But not in the never context told a of female to come in the bathroom. Have y'all ever been to the bathroom in speed? Yeah. Huh? Oh, and let me just tell you, Mr. Rockefeller, the whole co-ed bathrooms in 4040. Hey, hey, Hove, if you're listening to that one. <laughs> Why do you point to me? Yeah, that's a little creepy too, you nasty fucks. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a, a lot of shit bathroom. in the 4040 bathroom. Every just bathroom like in I've... New York is co-ed. Now? Damn near, hell yeah. A good amount, yeah. Parks not Bars? Lying. Yeah. A lot of, lot of bathrooms are co-ed. Hell yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, most most bars. <laughs> I don't leave my house. <laughs> I don't but not forty forty. My bathroom. Forty forty is a little different because the bathroom's like a section. <laughs> is it fly to? Like, it's super dope. Some shit? Yeah. Somebody in here has fucked in the forty forty bathroom. <clears throat> I, I won't ask any questions, but I'm positive. I'm positive that any room you go in in New York City that's full of has ten or more it. people, somebody has fucked in the forty forty bathroom and the speed bathroom if you're over thirty. Yeah, speed bathroom. Niggas got. Oh, cut, I'm still looking stabbed. for shorty. For- <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about, nigga? That bitch went to the bus stop. I never saw her again. Went to the bus stop after speed. Yeah, I never saw her. It was six a.m. That bitch ain't have class or nothing the next morning. <laughs> I was like, damn, she ill. Taking the, bu- <laughs> taking the bus home from the club is crazy. Nah. At, at 6 a.m. That's crazy. That's absolutely nah, crazy. Speed, After being with Joe Bud in the bathroom, nah, from, that's crazy. It's speed. You know the young bitches was going nah, to take the man. bus home. The bus home is crazy from the club. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, she was right. <laughs> Joe really thinking about this. <laughs> he really thinking about this. Send ready to text. Send text to me. Send walking in. All right, listen. Uh, all right, I guess we'll talk about something uh, of more serious, more serious subject matter, right? Uh, all right, wait a minute. I've got a drop for that too. Damn it, we are stepping up the production value. Time for Rory and Maul to have substance. <laughs> yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is where Maul and Rory have to actually sound informed about things that are going on in the world outside of sports and any palooza. <laughs> Valid. So Valid. <laughs> So let me tie this together for everybody. Right, keep it real. You you reached out to Shannon Sharp yet? Have I? We should. By the way, Savon. Now we played. We played that record. God damn it! Bridget done kicked our our intern off the chair. Savon, remind us that we have to reach Shannon Sharp. (laughs) Savon got. Yo, Savon got a great job. (laughs) I ain't gonna lie. Just found out since the the Rock Scorpion uh, (laughs) Zodiac sign. Contact Shannon Sharp. (laughs) So wild to do this. Yo, hey Savon, hold it down. You know what I mean? Uh, wait, what was we just about to talk about? Oh, let me tie this together. Uh, let me tie this together for everybody here. Because this starts, I think, with Jamel's Twitter stance a month ago, right? So let's start there. On Twitter, Jamel Hill of the 6 o'clock uh, ESPN Sports Center with Michael Smith uh, went on a Twitter rant about some unfavorably favory? Unfavory things. Unfavor- I don't think that's the word, but savory. Unfavorable. Unfavorable, unfavorable things to say Unsavory. about savory. What are you talking about? Yeah, I think that's the word. It, I was it it's unfavorable. Uh, okay. 
now you went to fucking what's that little Bronx school you went to? Now you want yeah. sound. <laughs> right. so that, that little Bronx school. Yeah, you went to. Him and E went to that available. one school. Every time we drive by that street, they gotta talk about it. Oh, remember the days? First of all, we've never drove by that street together. First yeah, and foremost. Remember, remember that's freshmen? That, that, that's first, first and niggas. foremost. We've never <laughs> driven by that street together. We have one hundred percent driven never, by that. Never. Me and we've never me and you have never driven by that street. I've never pointed it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> how do I know? Here, you did. By the way, <laughs> that one school is funny as fuck. You know that one school? Because one school. it's nothing in the area beside the school but danger. <laughs> That's, that's the fact. only thing there. It's a lot. That's a little different. The school now. is on the corner, and then it's trouble. Yeah, yeah that's a fact. <laughs> These niggas, the only niggas proud and want to reminisce about the days there. Remember Miss Watermelon times. Man? Good she times. Was, anyway, anyway, Miss Watermelon. Fucking, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait. What's wrong? Miss Watermelon. What were we talking about? Jamel Hill. Okay, Jamel Hill. She goes on this uh, Twitter rant a few weeks ago with a lot of unfavorable things to say about the president, right? ESPN then almost. Suspends her or fires her, we don't know, because the public backlash was too much for them to comprehend. They backed away quickly. That's what public outcry does a lot of times. So, right, that was the end of that. She then released a statement to say that she shouldn't have said whatever the fuck she said in her Twitter because it reflected poorly on the company. You know all the company shenanigans that you got to say. We know, we know the game here. Uh, and here we are now. Everybody in the NFL seems to have gotten over this whole kneeling thing with the exception of Jerry Jones. And Donald Trump and, and the vice president. Well, and the Dolphins, but the Dolphins are the only niggas keeping it a buck about it, so we're going to excuse them. Jerry Jones is a liar. Jerry Jones, and let me just paint this out for the people, is how old? 74 from Texas. Jerry Jones is 74 from Texas. I don't know if that means anything to anybody else out there. It means something to me. So now let's take that and let's couple that with Trump and his fucking old ass and his oil ties in Texas. And, and now let's bunch that shit together. And them two niggas is friends. And them uh, Jerry has donated to Trump. All of this fuck shit. I'm not a, a, a political nigga. So don't get it from me. Get it from Trevor Noah, one of them. Right? So then that happened, and and this is where I'm, I'm I'm a little confused by Jamel because I do believe that ESPN pulled her in the office the last time she did this and said, uh, "Nigga, knock it off." Jamel doesn't. So then strike she me went as somebody that would take favorable to that. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. We all are humans. At the end of the day, we all have to feed our families. At the end of the day, so so no, she took favorably to that, and that's why we saw the tweet from her that said, "Hey." This was in poor judgment and didn't reflect well with the company. So that was her acknowledging that. And we know that because ESPN's report now is this is her second infraction and she acknowledged it before. They said that. I'm getting this from them. Right? So she took well to it. Guess what? I'm not mad at her. She fucking supposed to take well to it. But because you took well to it, now I'm confused what did you think ESPN's stance was going to be the second time you tried it, Jamel? I stand with you. I'm with you. Let me paint this picture very clear for anybody with ears. You niggas don't have platforms. <laughs> like Word. You getting the jokes off. What, 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 what is there that y'all are not understanding? You don't have no fucking voice. Uh... Des Bryant, Dak Prescott, all you black cowboy niggas, right? And y'all so <laughs> pussy, and Des is my man. So I'm just theoretically speaking here because I don't think that Des is pussy, nor would I want to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. But they so pussy. New undercard for Rock Tyrese. They so pussy, right? The Rock don't want that smoke. They so pussy, right? The young black men... Because of the systematic, whatever the fuck you want to call it, we don't even have the balls or the wherewithal to say, guess what? If I fucking stop playing football, Dak Prescott, I'm talking to you now. If I stop playing football, because that's the threat, that is the threat. You just young and naive, so you don't know that that threat is meaningless to you because guess what? America thrives off big business and the bottom line of the dollar, nigga. And if you stop playing football, then they stop winning games. This is all connected. Well, that won't happen. 
Well, we know that's not going to happen. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I'm just talking shit right now. We know that. No, get your shit we, off, though. Go we, ahead. Get we, your shit off. Yeah. We know that the young players, and I mean, listen, and, and I'm, I'm objective enough to say I don't even judge them for it because that takes a lot of strength. That takes strength. Especially, Dak is in especially his, in them rookie contracts. Yeah, I don't think Dak is even in the position to say I'm turning down my 400 grand or right. or whatever I'm making. Right. You know what I mean? That's Zeke, probably not guaranteed. So Zeke got wait. some other issues, right? Before we even get to racing, what's going on? Zeke was dealing with a playful. So I don't expect him to come out. He had in his crib cutting up tank tops and shit. I don't expect <laughs> him to really give a fuck about shit that but, is of some importance. But that is was what the I'm point. Saying. That was the point of blackballing cap. Because now it has players shook. Because see what happened when you speak out. That's that's why they're doing this to Cap currently. Because now anyone that speaks out. And also, I want to talk about ESPN, though. Because they know what they did when they put Jamel and Mike together. Two amazing personalities. But they put them together, let's call a spade a spade, to bring more of a black audience ESPN. to ESPN. ESPN, especially nigger. So. Especially nigger. ESPN, who we watch applaud the efforts of the late, great Stuart Scott for pioneering a style that mm. them white people really wasn't fucking with, right? That happened. Absolutely. Every fucking year, we are reminded of that, right? So we take that, and now, to your point, here comes Jamel and fucking Michael Smith carrying that legacy on. Mm. Hey, th those, is a, those is brothers and sisters ESPN got white niggas up there reciting fucking future lyrics and all types of other shit going on. Which is let's, Stuart Scott all day. <laughs> let's call a fucking spade a spade. But with that, ESPN is playing, of course they have to, but this kind of trying to please both sides. Let's bring in Jamel and Mike together to get the black audience. But once they start speaking about black issues that have to do with sports as well, all right, well, let's suspend them for that. So I just want your audience. I don't want your opinion. Yeah. That's so ESPN in this instance is insane to me. So to you people pick out, a, pick a side. <laughs> well, they picked a side. They picked a side. They yeah, picked yeah. a side. They made that clear. And and let me paint that picture very clear for the listeners who may not be in the know. And these are facts that are all Googleable. I'm not inserting my Joe Budden opinion here. ESPN's ratings have left more to be desired in the past years. Right now, let's couple that with. ESPN thrives on football. Football. I don't know if you guys have noticed, they don't talk hockey in hockey season. <laughs> yeah. they, brought, they, don't, they, man. they won't even tell you who's in the fucking Stanley Cup damn near. Hey, the Cubs just won 90 games in a row. <laughs> Nobody knew. Know why? Because they fucking make their money off football, right? And in football, there is something to be said about the Cowboys being America's team. It's no coincidence that that is a consistent topic on that show. They're America. Right. They're America. I'm, I'm clearing that. Get your shit off. Go ahead. Hold on, man. Let me get a gunshot going. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, a black, sure that cleaned up any, everything. It's anything a, anything a black guy has to say is pointless without a you know I mean, you feel me, or... Something of that nature. It has to be noise. Right? No, Unless no you say noise. you know what I'm saying, because you're probably lying. But what I'm saying is, and this is my conspiracy theorist Joe bullshit. What I'm saying is, is it far-fetched to believe that Jamel tweeted some shit? Because what she tweeted was accurate. Hey, let's affect the advertisers and the sponsors. Let's affect the money. We're not asking the players to kneel. Let's affect the dollar amount. And as soon as that happened, I am 100% positive. Well, not positive, but that Jerry Jones called ESPN, Hell yeah. and ESPN mm -hmm. said, listen, little nigga bitch, and of course I don't feel that way about her, so pardon my French, but do I think the suits at ESPN are looking at her like that? Of well, course they, I do. they treated her that way, so you're not wrong yeah. to say that. Yeah. So now, okay, so now what do we do if we're Jamel? Let's talk about it. Nothing? Go back to work like happy house, nigga? Tell me. I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking y'all. No, I don't think Jamel can go back to ESPN after this. Let me speak for me and me only. I don't know everybody else's situation. Complex can't tell me what to say. I'll tell them niggas suck my dick. Actually, that's happened already. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. I'm unique in that 
in that facet. Everybody can't go to work and tell their employer what they're about to do. So I understand that part. And Jamel does not strike, again, does not strike me as someone that's just going to be quiet. She's going to get she her opinion off. She hasn't been quiet. I know. She hasn't been quiet. And I think to go back, she would have to stay quiet. All right, so let me open so it. So I, I, I can't see her doing... I think she's straight. She could go to FS1 and one of them other channels that will do whatever to get some fucking foothold in that lane. Also, Jamel is extremely talented and intelligent. She's brilliant. Yeah, so she, can... she will strive anywhere. She exactly. doesn't need ESPN. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, they need but, her more than she needs it. Yeah, she yeah but getting and her that's the thing we to don't believe understand. that. That's we don't know. We, we don't know if she believes that. She believes that's, that. We don't know that. Listen, I think if somebody th- does. Listen, she's first of all the way she be she's talking not, her shit. I think she knows yeah, how she's not going back yeah. to ESPN, man. But at she's the same not. time, ESPN is again back to your family. You still have to think of those things. That check at ESPN is probably all right. Okay. Yeah, but let me tell you something. Just bring another point into this. One. Is handing out the bag and cups. letting you go on air with red cups <laughs> and right. black and mouth. Right. That's a win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Let's bring that to this podcast. <laughs> For real. I mean, Savon, tell <laughs> Contact <laughs> FS1. Get in touch with somebody at FS1. <laughs> Call FS1 and let them know we, need, we mean business Let up them there. know we mean business and we're on the way. God damn it. All right. So we have, we have un- weed and wine. Have we uncovered the Nelly uh, scandal? <clears throat> I think we're done with, uh, I think with, we're done with the Nelly scandal. Yeah, All right. We've uncovered the Jamel Hill scandal. Yeah, I think we're. We've uncovered the Tyrese scandal. <laughs> Things that oh, matter. Tyrese put himself on the Forbes uh, magazine. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> did he go to the boardwalk? Get your and take a picture. Tyre. I'm not mad at him in front of the magazine. I want to figure out how he did it. I'm he went put, to. He went to, to the, the boardwalk. Next... Yeah, fuck it. Wait, to... how, how do you know that he did that? Uh, it, was, it was floating online somewhere. And I saw it too, but what I'm saying is, how do you know it wasn't a real joint? Have you ever seen Tyrese on the cover of Forbes? <laughs> I don't pretend to know all the Forbes covers. <laughs> Tyrese is not on the cover of Forbes. <laughs> Let me just assure you that he's not on the cover of Forbes. Well, you say that like it was impossible. I didn't look at it and think it was impossible. Tyrese is not on the cover of Forbes. All right. So I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm not, counting no, I'm not counting the grown man pockets. Let's just say Tyrese is not on the cover of Forbes. That's just not happening. <laughs> Ooh. No, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Wait, no. Did you change anything? <laughs> Nothing at all lately. <laughs> nah, still no. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> lately. All right, whatever, man. Uh, the Dove ads. Since we're in that realm, you guys didn't catch up on the Dove oh, ads. Oh, I'm so sick of black people. Come on, come on. Let's. So we're not about using it. Dove anymore. All right, that's no, it. No, no, oh, no, no, okay. no. I'm still <laughs> using my Dove. <laughs> I have my Dove. I love my Dove. I threw it out. I went in the trash to get it. <laughs> y'all fooled me. I went and got my shampoo. I got all that shit. Y'all crazy? Switch. Fuck y'all niggas. I would have told you no. to switch to Aveeno before this whole shit happened. Aveeno's nah. better than Dove, though. Aveeno so? How much they pay? Aveeno yeah. everything. Are you fucking joking? The fucking Aveeno $9 love, I love Aveeno soap too, that lasts two showers? Oh, you bugging. You're getting the wrong Aveeno, Aveeno, bro. Aveeno, it's too small. It's, it's little. It's not... I love Aveeno. Dr. Dr. All right, well, your pockets not Dr. deep, then, I guess. You hear more. They don't even sell Aveeno in, in this part shit. of the Bronx. <laughs> I love Aveeno. They Shut got up. A, they do. They, got the they sell Aveeno in the bodega. <laughs> they, nah, you got to get it. I get my shit from the barbershop. Really? My homie, my homie come in when he steal it. I get my soaps from the barbershop. My homie come in with the bag. All right, before I start, <laughs> where, do y'all, where do y'all stand? Three bottles for five hours? We got it, Mo. Can't I feel like you get everything He still got DVDs. That's why I don't trust his soap, because he's selling DVDs. No, nah, I'm not legit. buying soap from anyone that has a DVD for sale. No, nah, you bug. Yeah, you bug. Yeah, yeah, he ain't cornered the market. You got cornered the market, man. You got the cigs for like five hours. Get a haircut Six, and soap at the still same exist. time. DVD players don't. Yeah. Get a haircut and soap at the same time. I ain't got to go down the block now. <laughs> That's how black people move. <laughs> we, Nigga, we, make, we bring the it. soap here. We got it. It's a nigga that come in the barbershop with bacon. He sell everything. <laughs> What barbershop shop is this? Fine fair? No, nah, in Harlem. I'm dead serious. <laughs> super cut bullshit. <laughs> what the gonna lit though? I be mad. Where is no, the listen, super I be I be mad when he don't show up when Look I'm here. Sea town? Yeah, that's a fact. Chill. No Sea town slander. The bacon still be cold too. Fucking I don't know how he do it. Bacon be frozen. I don't even remember what we were talking about. <laughs> we talking about, about Oh yeah, dub 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 dub. Before we start, because I I mean I know I know how I feel about that. Black people are crazy man. Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm sick we, of black we, we 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 we. 
This is I love black people, but at yeah, the same yeah, time, I know black people. Black people, y'all gotta knock the fuck off. We get man. mad for three days. Yeah, yeah y'all gotta and shut then, up. You know, we right back Just to shut up. scheduled program. It's mad foul shit being done to us. Y'all wanna beef with the soap. Yeah. <laughs> really? No, 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 honestly. Listen. And I'm tired of people saying the only the only Christopher we acknowledge is Wallace. All you niggas that had off yesterday was home being comfortable tweeting that dumb shit. <laughs> so you do acknowledge Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Stop it. You ain't going to work on Christopher Columbus Day. And we, I got mad. Frank. Chris is right here. I acknowledge Chris. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's it's wild video Christopher's shit. I acknowledge. Chris is a trash name. <laughs> 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 your, your parents put zero thought into that name. My parents trash too, nigga. I was about to say, yeah, Joe ain't that fucking normal. Yeah, but Joe's out the Bible. <laughs> He Chris, one of them niggas. Chris L. Ain't Chris in the Bible too? one of them niggas that go to that. Like, it's in the Bible. Who gives a <laughs> shit? There's no book of Christopher? In the, Bible. in the 80s with all these niggas in going the crack. 80s. You don't think they was just searching in the Bible for a name? That was what was supposed to happen in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Christopher here. from Christ? Like, isn't that like... Yeah, but you the most... Oh, the Bible. please. Parks. Joe was the most it. unusable yeah. character. He was just there. He didn't even get her pregnant. He was just chilling. I, I wouldn't know Joe what, didn't do shit in the Bible. I, I wouldn't know what Joe was doing. <laughs> Joe, I, I Joe tell was a sucker. Shit. Joe was a sucker. All right, wait, Joe was the first sucker. All right, hold up. His girl got hold pregnant. Up. He had <laughs> never fucked her and was like, all right, I'll raise the kid. <laughs> order in the court. Order. Yeah. Wait, we're not in court. Order in the pocket. Wait, we're not in court. Everybody <laughs> relax. Let's chill with Joe was a sucker. He was, man. All right. Everyone relax. The dude that got her pregnant even came to both them like, yo, that's my child. And Joe was like, all right, well, I guess I'll raise a, it. He came yo, as a man. Yo, first of all, that's how I know you a sucker. You know mad at the Bible. I, I don't know none of what you're talking about right now. Wait, the st- I don't know I'm Jesus not, being not, born no, is knowing a lot of yeah, the Bible? Yeah, you soft, dog. You soft. <laughs> yeah, you soft, my yeah. nigga. Why you know when Jesus was yeah, born? Yeah, my nigga. Why you reading the Bible, my nigga? You wild emotional. <laughs> Stop reading the Bible, my nigga. Yeah, what is Rory know the whole story? Yeah. Joe was there and didn't fight, yeah. and then he took the carriage. Shut yeah. up, nigga. Why the the motion? Motion? He yeah. took the carriage. He read the Bible man times. Yeah. All right, oh, uh, I was trying to get Just, to something. You got you have a white Jesus tattoo on your forearm. What are you talking about? This is about? not white Jesus, by the way. Just because you're skin black don't mean that that's uh, not white Jesus. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. Let's be clear. Some white ass features. Because Grin was trying to add some colors, his extra ass. <laughs> you want colors? No, Grin. <laughs> Leave, <colors. laughs> Leave it alone. Black and white is fine. Jesus? <laughs> that motherfucker got he Julius might have. Caesar tattooed on his Um, head. Dove, I want to hear where y'all stand on the Dove shit. I think black people are just uh, enough. Uh, enough. I'll speak for white people. In, <laughs> in, uh, Be careful. Yes, Rory, you please, careful. Do, please you do that. <laughs> in those advertising meetings, when you're dealing with people of color, you should not look at that type of ad and go, yeah, I think that'll work. I think they'll love that. I didn't see the ad, so I just saw the screenshot. What was which wrong crazy. with the ad? The screenshot looks crazy. The screenshot is nuts. I didn't see nuts. the whole ad. The screenshot is nuts. Yeah, and that's where to, I went and threw think. my dove away. <laughs> but once I saw the whole video, I went to the trash well, so they, fast. Of course, as Twitter does, they brought up all the old ads. I hate like, Twitter. Your skin being white is right or some bullshit. It's shit like that. Well, listen, well, the more wait, important wait, thing wait, is wait. just wash your ass. I don't care what soap you <laughs> True use. Story. True just story. wash your ass. Yeah, I guess I that's fair. Well, but no, nah, white people got to stop in those meetings trying to do that type of shit. No, white they people need somebody to say, everything. hey, that's, that's white not going to work. White people, crazy, white people should stop. White everything. people should just stop, period, everything they're doing. Yeah, this is the least of my concerns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <but what> <laughs> white people going back to ESPN. Doing. Remember when ESPN had the Jeremy Lin shit on the cover? They said. I don't even want to say the word, even though people are sensitive about Asian shit. They had chink in the armor across the website. <laughs> now they mad about someone. Wait, no, they didn't. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, yes they, they did. did. Yes, chink they did. in the armor yes, is hilarious. That's crazy. That's that was when they lost their first game after they oh, won shit. like 13 uh, straight. To that, did you see the Kenya Martin, that was crazy. Uh, Jeremy Lin beef since we in Instagram beefs? Yeah, I don't know why, why Kenyon Martin displayed himself that way. He knew he was wrong because he came back and was Joe, like, Joe, why you wilding. did that, Joe? Yeah, that's you, so. Why you did that? <laughs> All right, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything, and they cut uh, Kendall uh, Marshall from uh, from the Bucks. Yeah, I heard. Just in case you wanted to get some more Joe jokes off. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. You my man. Yeah. Um, uh, Bridget, boy, are you about to get it? <laughs> yeah, I feel so. Yeah, I feel so bad for Bridget. Is there another mic? Yeah, Can Bridget? Bridget yeah, let's get yeah. a mic. Bridget, come join us. Have a seat on the couch. Oh, uh, well, you can, you're going to need one because, man, oh, Bridget, let me, 
let me tell you about all this baggage I have. I have so much baggage. I know. Well, this is, this is long overdue, so I already know, I already know <sighs> what to expect somewhat. Wait, let me see. Let me see if there's anything else that I have you to have hit no that's feet. important. Uh, do, do, do. Bridget, I just want to say I don't know what he's getting ready to talk about. Mm, do, 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 do. But, you know. Oh, well, no, we didn't cut. We should still be recording. Oh, wait a minute. Before we get to Bridget, where's Rory? Rory All right. Uh, Maul. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can just talk about this until Rory gets back. And after this, we'll introduce our, our beautiful guest. But uh, Party was arrested, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, for having Xanax... And oxycodone. Codone. Mm-hmm. Look at me trying to act like I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, I, I, you the, the you, you oxycodone. <laughs> however, it's pronounced. He had he, had he had some of that. He had oxys and roxies and all types of shit. We get it. Now, Maul, he was traveling uh, into Canada. I think he was coming into the U.S. from Canada, right? And he got past the first inspection, cool. And then the second inspection happened, and that's when they do it a bit more, uh, a, a bit more thoroughly. I know I've experienced that quite a bit. So, you as our OVO inside reporter, right? Mm-hmm. I'm a little confused by this because, if first of all, getting caught finding pills on a tour bus, your, your stash uh, boxes. It's crazy weak. Small, slow down. Okay, my bad. Because you will have a chance to reply. Okay. Why you ain't take that charge? Mall, with them? Mall sh- was there and should have taken the charge. Hmm. The party should have no, been on Mall. <laughs> the party? Why wasn't the party next door? I want to know why the party was on him. I don't know, man. <laughs> but to find pills is crazy. You can't find pills. like If you got, if you're on a tour bus, you know how hard it is to find pills? If they bagged up. I want the I don't care what they are. If you put me on a tour bus and I know there's pills, then nobody's finding them. Pills is the easiest thing to hide on the tour bus. Well, tell us how you hide them. Come on, and why didn't you hide them, nigga? I wasn't on that bus. If I was, he wouldn't. nobody would have got caught. First of all, why are you also bringing drugs into New York from Canada like there's not drugs in New York? Honestly, they probably yeah. forgot they was on the bus. They might have forgot more, they was on the bus. More, 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 more. No? More. A nigga who take Xannies and Oxys is not forgetting where they no, are. No, and you don't need to. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> and yeah, but, the one time I left them 90 fucking pills in Rivies, I called that bitch at 6 in the morning to try to find them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> when you lose a pill, you know where you lost them. <laughs> and in New York, you don't got to find Xannies. Be, you be walking down the street, they put them in your pocket. All right, that's $10, bro. Like, they just hey. be giving you drugs in New York. You bring up a much more important question, and this is the question I always have for the young kids. I don't get why Zanny is, is still a popular pill. <laughs> I don't know either. It's Bro, not a good high. I don't, I don't know sleep. how niggas pop pills, period. It's putting you to sleep. It's putting you yeah, to bed. I, I got my chest tattoo and my back tattoo uh, on Zanny's. I didn't feel a thing. I just woke up tatted <laughs> with an angry girlfriend in front of me. And white Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that pill shit is crazy. Man. I, don't know. I don't know how people still pop pills like that. <laughs> the drill might be on. I'm breaking everything in here, by the way, and I'm not on anything. Uh, Bridget, take this, Bridget. Oh man, Bridget, how are you? Stupendous. You look good. Thank you, Maul. Have you ever met Bridget? Yeah. Yes. We all, me, Maul, and Bridget, and some others went to dinner once. Yeah, we did. It's good times. So everyone here has met Bridget before, mm-hmm. but me. Well, I know Pretty New York much. Bridget. Hmm? I know New York, See, New York Bridget is my See, homie. This is, that is, that I don't is a, know that is L.A. A, that Bridget. That is a tangent that you do. That's a road you do not want to travel down right now. I don't know L.A. Bridget. I know New York Bridget. I didn't realize there and was a I difference. And I love New York Bridget. Could you, could you clarify for the people I don't, what I don't the difference know. is? He has a case that I'm here to defend you on. Well, I mean, you, you, you defended I don't know New York Bridget or L.A. Bridget, and I don't care about you guys' back and forth banner. What I do care about, though, this okay. is this is... Check this out, Bridget. Okay. And this has nothing to do with you. Okay. I forgot who I was telling this to, but so many women that I know, right, who depict themselves to be uh, morally sound, mm-hmm. holistic, 
a strong word. Uh, it's an yeah. SAT word. It's definitely an SAT And Joe word. never took the SATs. I have never <laughs> taken any of those letters. <laughs> 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 but I do think I would have bodied it. With words like <laughs> the, the little score, right, what's the passing score? You get like 1,000 points for your name, like 1,100 points. Like, not the SAT. No. <laughs> yeah, no. That, no, was that the? I G- might have got a thousand. Be, be no, in the SAT you definitely got a couple hundred points in in the nineties for writing yeah, your you name. Got, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you got a, that's true. It's I mean, not that's just your exactly name what Joe shit. got right on the SAT. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Joe didn't take the SAT. Oh, I didn't take the SAT. <laughs> oh my god! I wasn't in the ROTC. All that shit you niggas did. Uh, wait, I wasn't. You was definitely in the ROTC. Yes, no. Yes, you were. Wait a minute. Wasn't in no fucking ROTC. In my story, you were. <laughs> you definitely an ROTC type nigga though. <laughs> so for all those women, get back to oh. it. I, I, I know so holistic. many holistic women, right? I don't know what that word means. I don't know. I don't think I know any it, holistic it means, women. It means Solange. Does <laughs> it sound like so, hope? So many of them tell me <laughs> and depict themselves in such a way oh, that they would never do love and hip hop, right? Rosa yeah. Rosa Costa did that to me. I believe. Yes. I believed it her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's a few other Should've people that did it, her. and I believe did them, right? Yes. So much to my fucking surprise and dismay. Oh, dismay. <laughs> Some, Why dismay? Yeah. Because. Dismay is such a heavy word. Dismay right? is a I really did. heavy word. That's, that's a dad. Okay, dad. Say, You're getting into your dad words like now. This, that's a dad word. Dismay? I, I that's had, a dad word. I had some dismay. Okay. Dismay. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is from Jersey City. <laughs> Tomo. He had Talk dismay. dismay. <laughs> no nigga from Jersey has ever had dismay in their life. I did. <laughs> oh my God. I had mad dismay. I had mad I dismay. I mean, it's going to sound funny now if y'all keep saying the word. But episode two, three, whatever it was. When you came frolicking across the screen <laughs> on Love and Hip Hop, or Love and Hip Hop, dismayed by her frolicking, and then I, I said to myself, because only myself would get it, I said, "That's Bridget." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "What the fuck is Bridget doing on the screen?" Right? <sighs> but that was cool. I didn't mind you being on the screen. Okay. So what? What were you dismayed by? <sighs> let's, let's, let's discuss and address. Dismayed. That was an exas- uh, That was an exasperated sigh for the you record. and this Brooke girl. Okay. With this booby nonsense. Rick Moreau. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, y'all are using some wild words. Yes. Yeah, this is crazy. What so is rigmarole? So much rigmarole. So much rigmarole. I was so amazed with that word when I learned it. But how do you spell that? That's not a That word. was the wow. second thing that happened after I learned it. <laughs> how do you spell it? That was the common word. I don't know how to spell it. I don't know how to spell it either. That's terrible. If I think long enough, my aunt Diane taught me. I could call her ask her. But listen. <laughs> yeah, talk to me. You ain't looking so holistic, baby. I mean, I'm looking very whole something, but it's not listic, apparently, on that show. Well, I didn't watch it. I haven't watched a single episode. Love it. Well, that's why they haven't seen it, right? So can I be Nicki Minaj right now and be like, so y'all had me come on this, come on y'all show to talk about the show, and you I never, did, you no, never watched I, the I show? Did, I, I want to talk see, about the record you sent I me. did see the uh, okay. episode with Nicki the gun, Minaj, the, the, not the money invited. machine. Yeah. <laughs> Nicki <laughs> wouldn't come even if she was. <laughs> no, when she did that, she did that on the Breakfast Club and was tight. That she came on and she was. I'm like, not so y'all plugging the Breakfast pay no Club attention. here either. By okay, <laughs> sorry. Jesus I'm Christ. Joking, I'm joking, media I'm mode. I'm joking. I'm joking. Why I'm is joking. Joe so easily dismayed? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why is he so easily? Why? All right, my bad, bro. Go ahead. Do what you doing. Know. Don't we'll repeat it after. Right. My bad. Don't do that. That's fine. Right. You should. Well, here's the thing. So, so you want to know why I did Love and Hip Hop? Is that what you're asking me? I mean, in a roundabout way. I don't think I can ask it because I did it too. Right. I was, <laughs> but I mean, I'm still gonna ask it. It's fine. That was gonna be. My Why are you on you, Love and Hip Hop? Did you have a defense, Rory? Did you want to defend that? That no, that was gonna be my defense. Oh, <laughs> you was on Love and Hip Hop. What are you talking? Shut about? Shut up, Rory. Uh, Why are you on Love and Hip Hop? And your Gucci watch is on backwards. Because. I can wants, read Gucci. He wants to tell how, you the time. Well, how come I can he read Gucci? He wants to Gucci? tell you what time it is. That's why he did that. Yeah, Yo, you need to be on this podcast. Okay. <laughs> you're pretty quick. You're fantastic for this Why did you do Love and Hip Hop? <laughs> why did I do Love and Hip Hop? Yeah, because you're great. What's happening? Because I was, in a, I was in this really weird relationship, and I was trying to oh my make, get my music shit Damn. going again, and I was like, this is the perfect fucking crossroads to do this. Why would I not... Why would I not utilize a platform that touches three to five million people with music? And I, and I have been getting approached for a number of years to do it. But to do it the K Michelle way, which is what I was told. Of course, that's what right. that's the selling point, right? right? It's over for K Michelle, by the way. Okay, that well, was very nah. short lived. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you, so you said that like that was do it the K Michelle way, like that was so fucking prosperous. Well, the I mean, it wasn't bad. She, it, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. And she had a spin off. And she had a spin off. And it spun off. <laughs> <laughs> it spun right the fuck out of town. <laughs> and then she's been naked ever since, running around Atlantic. Oh dear God. <laughs> 
I'm just telling you what's happening. I hear you. All I right, so you. you were saying I'm a far cry from being topless in Atlantic, but at Atlantic, but mm. at the, my, I, I'm just I, saying you're too holistic to ever. <laughs> <laughs> now you were saying why are you holding your mic like a guitar? Or some shit? <laughs> I'm into this. <laughs> um, no, I really, I really, I did it. I did it solely for the purpose of of launching music, and also because the one thing that I felt like was always missing. Was, was the connection between my personality, who I am as a person, and also my music and understanding why I was writing the type of shit that I was writing. So it kind of made sense that I'm in, a, I'm in a dysfunctional, unhealthy relationship on a show that is also equally dysfunctional about dysfunctional people um, talking about things that are completely parallel to my records. And I felt like that was important and the best way for people to see that would be on a reality show, however skewed. I didn't know... They're telling me on the show that you cheated on a few guys, and I don't believe that black women cheat, so I didn't believe it. Okay, well, mixed women cheat, so I'll, I'll go ahead and confirm that. Oh, my <laughs> God, have you no shame? I mean, <laughs> I had shame, but we already talked to Jesus about it, so we're in the clear. Mm-hmm. Um, Tell me about how you ended up cheating on, on, a, on a good, faithful guy. Um, I'd, I'd like to hear about that. Fuck is your friend making faces about in the background? First of all, we don't. Do we we don't know. Every, every woman that How cheated cheat? has a friend in the background <laughs> making faces in support of the cheat. But that's fine. That's no. Fine. Well, here's the thing. I don't. I'm not in support of any cheat, and I definitely am not a defender. <laughs> you hear of that, no. friend? <laughs> I'm not. In def- I'm not. In def- I'm not here to defend cheating. I'm not. I don't think that that's the that's the proper route to take because it is shitty. And I, but I do think that cheating is a very individual thing. I don't think cheating has anything to do with the other person. And I mean, I've had many conversations with men and women about that. Because for the most part, if men cheat, it's not because they're unhappy in their situation. They may just be greedy or impulsive or whatever else. You know what I don't like? What? I don't like women who cheat and are able to articulate themselves. It's really unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> we can put that on my tab of Joe's Dismays. Can we put that on the Joe's Dismays tab? Show me a body and watch it. Let's put that on the tab. Let's put that on the tab. I don't fucking like that she said that. Like, I'm sitting here kind of liking it. Like, I like that she cheated now, the way that she broke it down. You like women that cheat on guys. Yeah, I do. No, it's... Ultimately, at the end of the day, my cheating has Whoa, nothing to do with him. Well, you can't use ultimately and at the end of the day together. Yes, I, I can. I, then I'm not going to believe anything you're saying. But go ahead. Ultimately. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. With that being said. With that being, with that being said. <laughs> Less lame. All, in all in things, conclusion. All things considered. <laughs> right. All things considered. Um, all things considered, I, I cheated because I was not happy with anything in my life. And I stepped out because I was looking for anything to make me feel better than what I was feeling at no, the time. No, Bridget, I'm That's trying to true. make jokes. I don't really care about why you cheated. That's on terrible. Niggas. You fuck asked it. and you just got real deep and we're using SAT no, words. No, niggas. I don't care about them. I'm, I'm into you. I'm okay. In, well, you I'm, asked about my cheating, so I was cl- yeah, giving but clarification. Yeah, that was in the past. You, yeah, you're right. You've grown since then. I would assume you're not yes. cheating on men anymore, right? No, I'm not cheating on anybody anymore. Are you involved? No. Why not? Because I like being single. Mm-hmm. Mm. Who likes Mm-mm. being? What the fuck is she talking? I like about? being single. Here's the thing: I'm at that age where where my <laughs> friends right now are either are either like just in dire need of marriage or companionship or in children, like they're dying for that next phase, or they're or they're just completely focused on career. And I feel like I'm in that I'm in that folder. I don't really. I'm not. Oh, this is getting interesting. Or people, or or everybody has children, so it's like a funny thing on the show where I get called. I get I get called an auntie or doing auntie music. I actually pride myself in that because I don't I don't want to have children right now and I'm happy that my friends are having children and they can do all that and I can be around when I want to and then go to happy hour when I don't. Why don't you want to have children right now? Um, Because I'm very selfish right now. I don't want to take care of anybody else. I don't want to buy anything or take care of anyone or and that's another reason why I'm liking being single because I feel like I'm a caring person so in a relationship I do try to do the most and take care of and I don't feel like doing that right now. Mm, 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 mm. Kill Joe's whole Horse, yeah. whole argument that he had planned. No, she sounded like she, <laughs> she, didn't she, even she, need a lawyer. She, she sound right. like a, Roy, you off the hook, Roy. You off the hook. I'm still uh, gonna invoice like you. Sound like a though. nigga that be cheating. <laughs> 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 Word. <laughs> oh, I didn't have nothing to say. I was like, all right, I, I see well, why. Yeah, you know I mean, case made. More, more. What's, what's I've, up? I've cheated and she sounded sound that like dope in my argument. Oh my fucking god! She do. Here comes like me. But when I say it, y'all look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, she but did it dope with you, though. Oh, that's what it... Okay. <laughs> well, she's oh. been in a few relationships. Okay. I have, too. Yeah, you mm. can't cheat when you're not in a relationship. That's then a good point. Then you're just fucking women. No. Wow. Well, so you, you could be in a relationship and not be your girlfriend or... That's not cheating. 
And what kind of relationship were you in that's not your girlfriend? What, why, what kind of relationship would you call it? Uh, I mean, if you're dating... Staying out of that one. <laughs> no. I mean, if you're, you're dating new to someone, this podcast. Be, if you're dating like, someone, it could be of, like just an exclusive, like y'all dating each other. There's like, too many like, phases. Like an exclusive, an exclusive date? dating yeah. is... Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, small, we, we only small. on one date with each other right now in this moment. This is exclusive. So, no just other girl can come date. to the table. No other girl no. can be at this date. It's me and you. Just me and you for the next 45 minutes. That's it. That's an exclusive date. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Why are you playing this fucking song, man? Yo! Alright, forget it. It was just it was perfect. It was just perfect. I was trying to get in the groove. Uh Booby. Oh god. <laughs> you dated somebody named Booby? And no. I'm only asking oh. this because you seem really excited about this on the show. Okay. And in person you seem much cooler than to be excited about some nigga with some muscles. So was that like was that like from from Stephanie's directive? <laughs> is, is that from Lauren? Stephanie, and them? Stephanie and Trevor, Stephanie and yeah. in the back, like you yeah, that. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> partially yes, um, mm. partially yes. But the other part of it was too, and I mean, we just we just had this conversation in the car. Spoiler alert. Um, so when they filmed my breakup with the guy that I was in a relationship with. Um, the next conversation that production and I had was where we're going next in the in the, in the storyline. If there was anything else to continue, they had an idea. I was down to roll with it. We shot a number of scenes that obviously didn't make it to air. Got it, um, got it, got it, got it. Got and it. the one that did was was the very last one after we you know had a bunch of conversations and we're getting to know each other on screen and it looks it looks it looks a lot less like a rebound one night stand. Um, mm. it, that was the whole the got whole it. point. So all right, so yeah. shout out to Edlin. Yeah, shout out to the final cut. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to the shout out to the uh, first the final cut of uncut. Yeah, are you? Still... I wish I had final cut with my relationships. <laughs> That'd be dope. <laughs> Yo, every time Rory says something about his relationships, <laughs> I can't make any jokes. <laughs> so I know I don't not... know I don't know if that was like a serious moment yeah, or if that was like a, if no, that, that was, was a, a fake. F- deep that moment. was a funny moment. Oh dear. Yeah, Rory needs help. Um, <laughs> damn it, what was I about to say? Music. You still music. want to do music? Really? Yeah. I, why? I just love it. Oh, knock it off. I you do. You're too old to love shit still. What, what you mean? I'm 31. I'm not too old to love yeah, anything. That is too old to love shit. What's the age? That's what's too the, what's old the cap? To still love things. What's the cap for loving things, Joe? At least 20. By 27, you should know what you hate. I know what I hate. I have a good, I have a good grasp on what I hate, but I still love music. I still love making music. So why wouldn't I? But because you can make it and not release it. I mean, I've made a lot of music that hasn't been released. That's that does not go. Okay, I guess that's what I'm asking. What is your objective today in making music? And I asked that today to in making music, I need to put an album out. I've never put a full length album out. I've put okay. three it, got different got EPs out that were fantastic, that I felt were quality, quality, quality records. But there's no full length cohesive project that so I that's put just out. something you need that's something to I do need, I need to get that off a, and then I can got it. you know what I mean and then I can leave it alone if I if I feel inclined. Are you or trying I, to do love and hip hop? Uh, Again next season? Not at the moment. I don't. I haven't. I haven't given it as much thought as I probably should have, considering I'm, they're on my neck about it. But I'm really excited about New York airing on October 30th, and Safari and I have become really close in the last week. I'm excited. I about didn't that, tell actually. Rory and Maul that because they would tease me. Why? Safari is awesome. Sin has been teasing Hold me on. for at least two weeks about you that. Got <laughs> you got me all the way. F- I'm team Saf- I'll be mad. No invite. So, so, <laughs> okay, so let me get I'm both of you niggas Safari. out of here. Safari definitely. So, <laughs> so, so Ma- Ma, you're, not, you're, not, you're not down for the coconut listen, oak, I was, I was down? Ra- listen, I was, what's wrong with Safari, I was man? a Safari guy. Y'all I know fuck that. with I Safari. Rude, I love the way he was handling we the whole breakup that. at first. Uh-huh. He wasn't bashing Nikki. He wasn't. But then it just it turned into a clown cake. Like it just was like oh. just clown shit everywhere. And now I kind of feel like when you rep in New York, you can't really be out there looking like a clown. And I feel like so far he's just doing shit clown shit now. Oh, okay. New York or uh, Ma, I hate to say, New York got a lot of clowns now. Yeah, that's, I'm trying to get rid of them. I'm trying to get rid of them. We got a lot of clowns leading the way. You know what's funny about Ma? He says that as he's a Kardashian. What you mean? How wow. am I a Kardashian? Well, they don't represent New York. How are you not? How am I a Kardashian? But let's talk about the Kardashians for two seconds. Okay. For only for two seconds, because I seem to be the only one really offended by the Khloe Kardashian 
ad campaign that's featuring that girl from Rihanna's makeup line. No, I'm actually I'm girl. actually pretty disturbed by you the are? fact that she's yeah, absolutely. Why is she fucking on your on her knees clutching your your ankle like a toddler? You and I are the only you're the only person I've heard with no, that. No, I'm bothered. I, I saw that. I yeah, I haven't. Oh know what the fuck how did something Kardashian God. not make I think my time? Muted Kardashian no. is a keyword. But. No, it's no. been big. Do you know what? Do you know what the real it problem is? Do you know what the real problem is though? It's not that people haven't seen it. It's that we're glazed over because we're so used to them appropriating all fucking things black that at this point it just kind of just skips. You just scroll past it because it seems like the norm for them. I know a lot of people that that didn't even think twice. And I'm like, do you not see how this looks crazy? That she has this grown woman clutching, like just just enveloping her leg as if she's some savior. After. After Rihanna, who we regard as, you know, we mm-hmm. know who we regard, after Rihanna has propped this woman up yes. and held her yes. on the highest as of pedestals yes. and platforms for this unique look that she has. And here comes fucking Khloe Kardashian to put the same chick on the fucking ground, grabbing onto her knees. It's I nasty. See, see it's nasty. I, I don't know what you're talking about. It's I nasty. Seen it. Hey, and Sorry. when I said to send that it's nasty, I said, you know what's fucked up? The Kardashians are known for appropriating shit, but Khloe's cool. Mm. Khloe's cool. So I know the rest of the niggas could just bash all the Kardashians. I do know Khloe to be cool. Mm-hmm. So that looks wild to me, but nobody else said that, so I'm shutting up. Uh, all right, you guys want to talk about uh, Janae's tattoo? Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Where do we begin? Upsetting. We got to have a tattoo segment. Like every week, we just got to find a tattoo I feel to like talk about. A tattoo about. segment would be really special because everybody has a tattoo, probably. What that does they're it like, mean? Why do we do that? What does, what does it mean? mean? I think Janae and Drake's dad. <laughs> and, and Drake. I don't think who else. Should, nope, I can't. Who else? There's a bunch of niggas that need to go have a tattoo party. <laughs> I would pay for no, a, ta- or they a tattoo, tattoo cover up. Yeah. They need a tattoo cover up party. Yeah, they need a laser party. removal but, party. That's so, 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 Joe, you have a problem with her right, getting her right, the right. love of her life tatted on her arm? Oh dear, here we go. There's an adjustment made. Um, because you're the tattoo. You have tattoos, so you're the tattoo guy. I do have tattoos. Mm-hmm. Do you have a big shoulder tattoo? I'm not the tattoo guy. He has a wallet don't, tattoo. Don't call, don't call me the tattoo you guy. You have a wallet tattoo? Joe definitely has a wallet tattoo. Joe has a wallet tattoo? So- Bridget, I don't have a wallet tattoo. <laughs> you don't have the wallet logo tattoo, don't you? No. Do I? It's on Somewhere your, by it's on your fist. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. Oh, it is. <laughs> that is the Wale logo. Actually. <laughs> Thank you. That's disgusting. Thank but you. no, I don't have any Wale shit tattooed on me, but... I mean, I'm not gonna clown nobody for getting a tattoo. I'm not gonna clown her for getting a tattoo. <laughs> Wait, what we, what'd you do last week? <laughs> yeah. I didn't With clown. Drake's pops. Drake's pops is a fucking nigga <laughs> who's a pops. <laughs> who's, a, who's a pops? <laughs> yeah, you he can gotta pretty much get... do anything he wants to do at no, this point. No, no, we life. clown him. Like... But Janae, though. It's beautiful. Janae, <sighs> shut up, Maul. Janae getting <sighs> big Sean. All right, so nobody wants to say nothing. Y'all all trying to keep your relationship intact. It's her boyfriend. Intact. Look, Bridget I mean, trying to get a feature. What are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 no, I, I'm actually, I'm not You're in. You're trying to get the feature. No, I'm not in defense of that. I, I don't no, think, I don't, I, don't I thought that was a lot. That was too much. That's, That's too much. much. This I'm, is my no, problem with Janae. I'm more curious, the same way with Drake's pops, like, are they Google imaging their significant other and no, like, I, fi- I, like scrolling through hers the best face photo? That's what I'm curious about. Hers was better than the Drake one. Yeah, Drake looked crazy. Drake Wait, did look nuts. Which that. Drake one? On, on his dad. Oh yeah, no, that was crazy. That <laughs> nigga looked like Pierre or some shit. <laughs> that didn't even look like Drake. But, but this is my problem with Janae. Not the tattoo more. I don't care. Who mm-hmm. am I to talk about somebody's love unless it was uh, Meek and Nikki? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> but in Janae into all her boyfriends like this, she uh, she I, loves she loves hard, Joe. <laughs> She's a, yeah, she's an earthy. Nope. She's, a, she's, oh, a, she's a hippie. Oh she loves hard. She's a hippie. Why you hate Damn it, Rory. Fuck off. She is. Damn she's it, Rory. Janae's a hippie. Nigga, you a hippie. Yo, why do I'm women, why do women no, love loving a, hard? Yeah, y'all so trash. <laughs> we love we just hard. just love hard. No, we don't. Yes, we I'm do. I'm hard to deal with, but I love you hard. You two niggas love hard. Y'all was just at the Solange concert. Y'all two That's niggas in the same boat. I'm a Solange fan. Just because she was there, you I had nothing to do with it. You love hard, Rory. You love hard. What's wrong love with loving hard. hard? What is the problem with loving hard? Can we talk about that? It's not a problem, but it's kind of like, eh. Hey, hey, hey. See, I don't know the more. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I don't know. The more the only nigga don't jam to that. Hey, hey, drink it away, Solange. <laughs> what the fuck is Maul talking about? 
bum ass nigga. They don't Real play this shit in the going Supreme. On out here. These niggas. All right, all right, come on, Maul. All right, let's talk about the Supreme store in Brooklyn open. It's <laughs> open. <laughs> oh, I thought you had a hot take about it, nigga. You got Maul, beef with Maul the salons. Maul got on the crossing guard jacket. We could see Maul in the darkest of nights. All right, bro, you got one more joke. <laughs> I hate your ass. I told you. <laughs> Rory, I'm letting y'all know. Got Rory really got upset. one more. I ain't said a I'm word to you. Maul just got dismayed, guys. No, 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 no I'm not dismayed. dismayed. Maul is dismayed. <laughs> Bridget, you never thought about doing a podcast. You're really good. I would love to do a podcast. I just haven't, haven't thought enough about it. I like That's to participate you fucking in other chasing people's. booby around on fucking television. I'm, I'm, not I'm trying to get you to think about television. something productive. Uh, what is this booby shit? I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know who booby is. Bridget about. Kelly is chasing Keisha Cole's fucking ex husband who him. cheated on her on fucking national television every Monday oh my behind God. her friend oh. Brooke Valentine's back. No, and no, if no, I had no. a fucking Brooke Valentine song, <laughs> God damn it, I would play it. I see what Love and Hip Hop is doing. They trying to cause a little R and B. That's what I'm saying. I That's mean, the R and the R and B, the R and B is non-existent. No, they're trying to. No, 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 they're trying to cause. Bridget, tell them it was just a storyline. Mm. It's okay. You no, know, it's just reality. They want you and Keisha and Brooke. Was this a case of Mendeecees having his cake and eating it too? It might be. Because when he wasn't with Yandy, I mean, was he with Erica? I can't get us out of this one. When he wasn't with Erica, <laughs> would he be back with Yandy? I see what they because doing. Because if both women carried to term, if you and Brooke carried to term, would have some overlap. Overlap. Yeah. <laughs> I see so what they was. They definitely, on, on camera, it's definitely some overlap. She's chasing fucking Booby Gibson oh, they're from the make, fucking Cavs. Yeah, they're trying to make it seem that way. Yeah, I get it. And they if, want the beef between her and Brooke and Keisha. Yeah, I get it. That's fucking trash. Then they want y'all to make records together. Who's winning I, I a fight? It. You or Keisha Cole? You said who's winning in a fight? Yeah. Oh, Keisha Cole, hands down. <laughs> I like your honesty. I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna play myself. <laughs> like not even. She has. She has so she comes from a long line of ruthless. I think he should go crazy hands. people from she's Oakland, and before. I. <laughs> she's killing this. I'm answer. not even. No, I'm not because I'm not even going to put. Not First even going to try. Not this girl try. back here is good. She's been prepping her all fucking day. No, right? no. yeah, she gave her eye contact. Not at all. Remember hey, what we talked hey, about? Whoever you are, can you come in here? <laughs> yeah, remember what we oh, spoke now about? she don't hear us now. <laughs> now she's talking to the bathroom. Right. Re- remember what we spoke about on yeah, no. in the call? Well, she I'm got her not, fucking boxing trainer no, in there. No, that's not. <laughs> Mm-mm. Who's this girl? Why you look like you could fight? What the fuck you do? No. See? See? Keisha, the See? thing is, though, Keisha's, Keisha's not stepping in to fight over nobody's booby, though. That's not at this point. That's That's been over. Listen, a Keisha don't time. even want to film care. the scenes that they're making her film <laughs> yeah, with she booby. definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, is Keisha's that. mother in the, in no, the whole thing? Because no, that's no. the real oh, star. Yeah, why didn't they put the mother in there? They always put someone's mom in I'm, I'm not talking about nobody's mom. No, she's great. I would love to see Frankie on Love & Hip Hop. Frankie is a star. A reality show legend. I would love to see Frankie on Love & Hip Hop. All right, glad to see you all. It's <laughs> a lot of love. It's a lot of love for God Keisha's damn. mom. Well, Good to know. Y'all work with her? God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had something I was I was getting you to ask you, but, but I don't I don't really recall what it was, so I don't care. I don't, okay. I, it was, it was, it'll come back to me. Okay. Where's my phone? I mean, if I end up coming back to New York, I would like to be a recurring guest on this podcast, because this is a lot of fun. Oh, wait, you fun. live in L.A. I do live in L.A. Oh, you so trash. See? See? I hate people Everyone that move to LA. L.A. to live in L.A. Hey, but wait. Niggas are moving back. They are. Hey, wait a minute. What's the, what song you Niggas got for that? What's the song you got for that? <laughs> oh. I feel like we needed a song for that, for the move back. Well, I feel like we needed a song for the move back. <laughs> keep talking. Because you know what? It, this is always home. When you're from a place like New York, you have to come back. I feel like everybody that leaves is like, okay, this was a cute little, this was a cute little stint, and then, you know, yeah, yeah. we all get tired of the fake fraudulent yeah. shit, and then we all end up just making our way back. Man. Okay. Well, that's, a, that's perfect. Man. Anything just plays the perfect welcome home. <laughs> Anything yeah. just plays the perfect, yeah. the perfect. We never couple. lost power, Bridget. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we never some, lost power. Hey, who's some, moving back though? Some of us never moved to LA, Bridget. Some of us don't give a fuck about In and Out Burger. <laughs> some of us don't care to be vegans, Bridget Imani. Bridget Imani. <laughs> anyway, I know not everybody can be holistic. Sorry, guys. Um, no, but people are moving back. Who's Who? moving back, Joe? I don't fucking know. You don't right. know. Nobody. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Nobody. Is it like, Niggas is moving back. Right. Who? No, they, no, they are. It's a big kid. Jessica. Wait. Who's Jessica, bro? Who the hell is Jessica? Never, all right, my guy. I can't. Yo, y'all Never asked mind. me who was moving back, and I'm trying to tell y'all. And that was it. Uh, let's see here. What's up? What else here is really, really important? Uh, you had other stuff that was pressing, I feel like. It couldn't just be that. Uh, or did I knock it? Yo, you know what's funny? Nothing was important this week. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, honestly, Thanks. everything was like funny. Good. We have yet to talk about Young Thug 
putting out the worst apology video in the history of cheating. I don't know if anyone has seen it. I don't know if y'all care. It's, but tr- it's horrible. And I, it's embarrassing. I care. Wait, uh, is it the one he's begging for her back? Uh, that was all in 90s R&B. What was wrong would, with that? I would also just prefer that he not talk about the fact that women like Monica or that Monica is responsible for making oh, yeah, a man, that right? Was a different tweet. I think that was retarded. Wait, and what she he should say? never. He said that more women should be like Monica Brown because more women should, their, that their job and their role essentially is to, is to get their man on the right path. That it's a woman's job to do that. Why can't more Type. women do that? Who's Did you Monica miss that? <laughs> Monica, the singer Monica. Monica Brown, who's married to Shannon Brown. To Shannon Brown. Yes. Why, did, why is Young Thug telling us about Monica Brown? And why are people calling Monica, Monica, Monica Brown? Because when I said Monica, you didn't know who I, who I was talking her, about. she's just Monica. There's no other Monica except for Harmonica. <laughs> Harmonica. No other Monica except for Harmonica. <laughs> no one is placed There's no other Monica. Go ahead. You're right. You're right. Oh There's no God. other Monica of significance that we were talking about. You're right. What were we talking about? Young Thug. Oh, young, young thug. thug. It was weak. It was a weak ass apology. It was just dumb. Like, why? Just stay off the internet. Why have we? Did we not learn from Kevin Hart? Those no. apologies are not working. They're terrible. He said everything you shouldn't say. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw it. First or not. of all, <laughs> just na- just you gotta love the internet, man. For somebody that wants a woman to get him in line, you should have sent that to any woman, any one of your women to did get you a, see, to get approval in it. Did you see before tweet, putting it out? Though? The tweet of her saying, I'm back on the market, and he said, bitch, what market? I'm going to kill you? Oh, my God. <laughs> this just got weird. <laughs> on God. On Twitter? Right. On, on God? On God. <laughs> yeah, on God, God. Cause, yeah, cause on it ain't, God. It ain't serious until a nigga stamping on God. It's not serious until it's on yeah, God. until it's on God. What, what uh, market? I started thinking of her defense. Maybe she was just at the market. And no, he, read, she he said, just I'm read on, it wrong. She said, I'm on the market, <laughs> not I'm at the market. Bridget, tell me why women feel the need to announce that they're on the market. For real, to piss off. Cause y'all, y'all trash. That's with just, that. that's, just um, that's just security button. They just yeah, be trying to get it's killed. Just, it's a, it's a, it's a security. It's a that's security just button. All it is. And on, but honestly, truthfully, sometimes it is a mating call. I can't even front. It is a, it is like a, it is a, it's shooting up a flare Cause, to see who's men going. need a mating call. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, sometimes, sometimes when you're when you when you are in a relationship, for the most part. You, nah. you're no as a woman. As a woman, you dodging, you curving, you ignoring, you not responding. By the time you get, by the time you get to be single, your 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 DMs for the if you're doing it right should be so dry. Your phone should be so dry yeah, know, that you gotta shoot up a flare. Once you put up like the semi lusty picture on Instagram, everyone no, knows. no, the lust, the, the lusty. Everybody puts up a lusty picture in a relationship or not. Yeah, it's not more so about They're different. You can tell. Mm, I don't know about you that. Can tell. I don't know. I, I, none of my pictures are lusty because I look trash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't put up any lust. The, I'm no, on I'm the market. It's a, it's, just, a, it's, a, it's a cry for attention. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all that is. You like, shooting up the floor. Oh, so you want to get, get, you get the dude mad? Yeah, absolutely. That's what, that's oh, Bridget, I like Bridget. Bridget man. is way just, too mature. Keep it, for yeah, she keep it so funky though. Like Absolutely. you gotta respect that. She ain't bullshit. Anyone like that's that. like, oh well, single women, eh, shout out to my si-, like all that shit is well, it's a cry. It's a cry for attention. Well, that's all it is. You can't be thirty saying shout out to my single women. That's I mean, you can't be. Yeah, you just for you shit. to say that you're on the market again is it also. Well, just Young Thug's like, girl, I think, is like twenty two. Yo, speaking of speaking of all the women that are that are over thirty, this has nothing to do with nothing. I just want to point out that. Uh, Bernice was with T.I. and then T.I. left Bernice to go back to his wife. Yeah, it was dancing at the woods. I'm just together. pointing that out. All you cute old bitches, it's over. All right, well, let's Love not talk about Bernice, uh, Bernice that way. Love is definitely winning. Love is winning. <laughs> you left Bernice for your wife. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so crazy. T.I. left Bernice for his wife. <laughs> that, that is, what? Yo, T.I. is a no. good nigga. <laughs> but, oh, that sounded you know what's so crazy? bad. Everyone understood leaving your wife for Bernice, but no one understood leaving Bernice for your wife. <laughs> why would this, why, I don't get it. Better man that says something. Love wins. Else. Now you know why we love hard. No. See, guys, that gives us hope. Bridget and Maul. T.I. was loving I was trying to get into YouTube niggas over here. Maul, you keep saying that all of this shit that Bridget is saying is like attractive, that she's keeping it a I don't think it it's that profound. That she's yeah. being are that honest. Many, are that many people still out here being fraud, being yes. fraudulent? Yes, yes, really? yes. Really? Yes, <laughs> tell, me, tell me how it's it is. Style. Absolutely, yes. Really? They out here fraud. Bridget, before <laughs> she, you she are... I mean, you know what, though? All right, is everyone being frauds? <laughs> is everyone being frauds, frauds make sure. <laughs> Bridget, before you agree too much with what Maul has to say... Oh, boy, here Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking just a regular. Uh, you might want to ask Maul when his last relationship was. I don't want you two guys Sorry, to just Maul. get to keep keying together and you feel like y'all got some commonality. Can I make a joke? Can I make a joke? Yeah, Maul? Will you joke. be offended if I make a joke? I no. love jokes. Oh, Maul? 
Well, it's, well, it's, I'm, I'm making it a joke about Maul, so I wanted to ask for oh, his permission first. Oh, before yes. I, I love no, joking I, about I'm, Maul. I love jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Joke maybe, maybe, guys, the way that women announce that they're back on the market, this jacket is a means of attracting the attention of the right <laughs> woman. Because women love bright colors. I love bright colors. I love this fucking windbreaker. Mm-hmm. So maybe. Do you like Supreme? <laughs> do, do you like jogging at night? Do you like? <laughs> do you like Brandon Jennings? Do, like, do you like crossing the street? Do you like crossing the street with help? <laughs> y'all niggas know I love this right here. I'm gonna be quiet because Maul gonna kill yo, yo, all three of us. Niggas, <laughs> niggas, nah, there goes the mic. Sit down. Where you going? We just started to have a conversation. I'm not running, so just be nice to no, me. He I, ran, so yo, be mean. Why, like, why is he leaving? Joe, come back. Joe. <laughs> nah, now you gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, we, we pausing this. I love this. This is my segment right here. Uh, we are back at the Joe Button Podcast, episode number <laughs> <laughs> one thirty-two, with our beautiful guests Bridget Kelly, Rory, and Maul is here as well. Hopefully, Maul's done being stupid, so we don't have to punch in anymore. Good, yeah. Are you finished? I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm done. Sure. You and Bridget finished yeah. with your little uh, oh. canoodling. Canoodling. Is that, is that like rigmarole? Gallivanting. <laughs> Gallivanting. What is your highest level of education, Bridget? High school and some college. You know a lot of these words. Yeah. I, I played a lot of Scrabble and words with friends as a kid. I want to know. I've had some college, too. They don't teach you words in college. No, no, so no. I don't know why people... I mean, They're not just you teaching read. you it mad words. Maul can't date Bridget. He would lose all the arguments. <laughs> <laughs> you have to just be I don't with some no words. You have, no, but you have to be with somebody to just argue better than you. You be dead ass right. <laughs> yeah. Sin is you always, lose, sin is always right in the argument, but I win. <laughs> <laughs> I argue way better than her. Sorry, you're 24. <laughs> gotta gotta catch up. She's gonna kill you. You gotta argue better. I mean, he already said she's always right, so that's all that matters. At that point, it's like there's no argument. Happy wife, happy life. There I have you a, go. I have a question for the three of you, Bridget. I'll I'll start with you. Mm-hmm. First thing that comes to mind when women say they only hang out with women. Um. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? The, uh, the uh is what's more telling. Uh. What, what first, like, thi- first like thing? Kevin that Hart's g- um. Um. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Question was first thing that comes to mind when a woman says, I only hang out with women. I mean, uh, what did I say? <laughs> yeah. Say women. That when, when, when a woman says she only hangs out with women. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I meant then. What I meant was that I, I don't have uh, female friends. That's what I meant. When I'm, women say they don't have yeah, female I, I don't friends? Yeah, I hang out with women. I don't like women. I hang, I, most of my friends are, men, are males. <laughs> I want to know what. I know what we call that where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I want to hear from women. <laughs> Okay. Because I mean, they, I want to I want to hear what they what they what they say. Where you're from, Maul? What do they say? If a woman says she only, only hangs, hangs out with men, gunshot. Yeah. yeah, all right. You hang out with me and three of three of my other niggas. We all gonna hang out. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's hanging out. We hanging. Um, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I was trying to open the floor for discussion, and I mean, y'all made it creepy again. Now that well, no, my, first, my first, my first, my first thought is that I don't, I don't trust a woman that can't be around other women. I don't, I don't trust a woman that doesn't have female friends. There's a prop. There's a, there's a, it's a red flag for me. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a red flag. Rory, I'm agreeing. Maul, yeah, I, I agree. Only to say that if you hang out with that many women and women don't mess with you, I think you're the, right. You're the factor here. Right. You're, you're the, the com- red flag. You're the common denominator. <laughs> if women ain't fucking with you, you something's wrong. There's okay. a lot of women in the world. Right. <laughs> First thing that comes to mind when a man will not give you a title. You're a whore. Never went through that. And you want to continue that. You want to continue your whore lifestyle. Damn, you never went through that? I've never had a man try to give me a title. I can't say that, Bridget. Okay. <laughs> You've never had a man try to give you a title? I mean, a, a woman try to, a woman try to like force a title on you he and try to man. be like, stop it now. Bridget. Yes. At, 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 at what point do you feel you may want children? When I, re- when I meet the right man. Great answer. That could be tomorrow. That could be in oh. five years from now. I don't. That's I don't care. Answer. As long as Halle Berry can pop out babies at forty six, I'm so, not really pressed. You know why it's all confusing to me, Bridget? Why? Because I mean, you look amazing. Number one, Thank in a holistic you. way, <laughs> but all your answers are hoish. 
<laughs> Are they all answers? So Am I giving no answers? So I look at the promises. She's like, whoa, abort. <laughs> Get her out of there. Uh, abort. <laughs> run, Bridget, run. So, so the promises are like, Throw the mic. Whoa. Drop the mic. <laughs> She's going to dive over. Everything's drop fine. Drop the mic. Publicist, that's just how I talk. <laughs> Everything's fine. We love Bridget. It's okay. Everything's cool. This is this is, this is is his jargon. You it's should be okay. fucking paying attention anyway. <laughs> You trying to jump in halfway? Oh, oh. Why are they hoish? Why? why are they hoish though? The answers? Why are the answers hoish? Um, because it's what the hoes say. No, it's not. Rory, am I her lawyer now, or am I? Uh... <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I think she fired you earlier. <laughs> yeah, I think I, think so. I don't think you're well, a lawyer. Why there was no work for them? Uh, the free spirited joints have a lot of the the Bridget answers. I won't say ho. I'll say Why free is it? Spirited. But hold on. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I clarify though? The, Yo, the, difference? Pu- the publicist clarify. is having a I, conniption in the back. This is great. My publicist is sweating right now. But no, I need to clarify. And this is this is the part that I that I think men get it fucked up. This is where mm. this is where this is where y'all get it fucked this up. You right? said we've been fucked up. This is gonna be good because Bridget hasn't cursed since she sat down. The thing, <laughs> it's the wine in the mason jar. Y'all got me open. So in that in that in that respect. So right. in that respect, mall. Yeah, had to had to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> Why you had to say mall though? That was yeah, for everybody. That's his Shut name. up. Um, <laughs> no, I think I think when a woman when a woman is very clear on what she wants and doesn't want, y'all have to find a category to put her in that. Makes Makes y'all feel comfortable with the oh, fact shit. that she's clear Bars. about what she wants or doesn't yeah, want. She's killing Rory. She's killing Rory. Right now. She's killing, she's Rory. killing, Joe I'm killing Rory. y'all because because I find when a woman says she does, so I don't want to have kids right now. So that means I want to I want to just fuck freely. Is that the, is that I the don't automatic? Think, Bridget, I'm rolling with. Is you that the auto, you don't, I got you. Okay. I know you got my back. Okay. I th- but how the, you know he got your back? Because <laughs> he's, he's he's already he's already jumped in. That is how Mo does it, man. Yeah, Mo, I ain't gonna lie. He jumped in like five times. Don't you? I just it's cool. It's all right. I'm rolling. No. But that's 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 how I like when y'all don't y'all don't know what to say when a woman has the answer. I know that I don't want children right now because I don't I don't feel like doing that snapback body shit. I don't feel like doing a flat tummy tea after surgery. giving birth. Like I don't I don't feel like having surgery either. I don't feel like having a baby. I don't feel mm. like being fat for nine months. I would rather <laughs> hit publicist is coming my in life. here. <laughs> she's like <"No." laughs> she's like whoa. She's, she's like, like yeah, what are you saying? We were trying that to get the flat tummy not, tea. Ad. No, but it's true. But, but <laughs> flat why tummy that? just text me. There goes but, that check. <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm abort. saying, I'm saying, abort. I'm saying all of that to say, just because I don't want children right now, and I and I'm not looking for a relationship that makes me a hoe. What are the what are the what are the kind of why is that the connotation? Joe called you a hoe. I didn't call you, Bridget. A I don't think you're a hoe. Bridget, a hoe. I don't think your he answers just, are hoeish. He just said my nothing. answers were hoeish. So what yes, about what is so what is so what is hoeish? Can you define what hoeish answers are? Ask then? Joe. Ma. He's the whole correspondent. <laughs> Dude, I fucking said ask Joe. <laughs> Joe is the whole ask correspondent. Joe. The whole correspondent. Uh, episode one thirty two of the Joe, <laughs> Joe Budden podcast. We got sleepers? No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, let Bridget get her shit No, I off. would like to know what a ho- what what makes an answer hoeish. When men don't generally agree. All right, I mean. When men don't no, generally no, no, agree. No, 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 no. The answer that is shared commonly amongst the hoes. That's hoish. <laughs> I don't but, think but, her answer but that's, that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't list the quali- that's not that listing the qualifications. What is the criteria for things that are hoish? What is hoish? I'm no, asking you to define oh, that for no, me. Oh no, that part I won't. That's a whole speak different to, conversation. But that when answers are hoish, I can speak to that. I can't speak to what but makes what, some hoish. I don't. I don't what judge. Makes, I'm not. I'm not asking you to, to answer what makes hoes hoish. I'm asking you to answer. I'm asking you to, to clarify what makes the answers hoish. Uh, the guitar is bad. What about? <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> This is the stance. I thought I did. You better give me Steven Tyler pose right now. <laughs> this is a good moment. I thought I did. No. I thought I did answer that. No, no Rory answered. Corner. Rory, Rory said free spirited, and Maul said what whatever it whatever answer. Because I don't men think don't free spirited is ho, so I wasn't on your side. Well, free spirited is like is like the the PC version of ho. That's I don't fact. think so. I think it is. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. It definitely it's free, is. free spirited yeah. is, is. If a girl tells fine. me she's free spirited, free spirited is, is a polite way of being like. I'm definitely stopping at Dwayne Reed in, in the right. next ten minutes. It's, it's <laughs> for sure. Ky to get some condom, a, to get some water. Right? When you say a woman is free spirit, you're definitely referring to the freedom of one particular spirit, and that's it. Right. So I don't think that's what free spirited <laughs> does mean. You're a whole. You're a whole. <laughs> thank you. Unfortunately, that is that's what, just it, what it is. What it means, and it oddly is. enough, at the Solange concert. <laughs> Mad free spirited <laughs> joints. But when it, when all of the free spirited chicks were there and, and cranes, I just like my free spirited joints to wear deodorant. That's all. All the holistic. When when cranes started to play, <laughs> and you a, started to sing in a yeah. weird way, I, I I I took it as as they were trying to stop hoeing. <laughs> I tried what? to drink it away. 
their relationship. I tried to put one in the air. Mm -hmm. I tried to To smoke it away. I took Mm -hmm. all of that to mean I'm trying to stop hoeing, but I feel like there's a crane in the sky that's just (laughs) controlling these hoeish actions. That is what I took to mean. They're a puppet from the crane in the sky. What the fuck else does crane in the sky mean? So we're all just hoe puppets by the cranes? No, and see, I try to ask a woman here so we wouldn't come off so misogynistic, but you're not helping at all. I'm just trying to, I'm just seeking clarity. She might be misogynistic than us. (laughs) 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 <laughs> <laughs> she sound like us it's Bridget like, I mean before I let you go you sound like you're very in tune with what you don't want yes as a 31 year old woman yes what do you want I just want to exist and enjoy this oh, moment oh my wait a minute with my free spirit no you all you guys stop <laughs> <laughs> I just want to exist I just want to exist that's what you're giving me free spirit I no, just want to exist in this moment it's crazy what I want <laughs> I just want to exist in this moment. Existing with, in the with, moment with, is with crazy. my free spirit. With, with my free, free spirit. spirit. That's fine. Um, I'm dismayed. At totally all being things. facetious. No, I honestly, what I what I what I genuinely want right now is to not have to think about what I'm gonna want in five years. I don't want to have to plan for that. Yeah. I want. I don't. Bridget, I don't want to have to think Bridget, about that shit. I, I don't want to think about you it. Thank you for having me. Thank yeah. you and my publicist. My publicist is doing flips ever right been now. On the Joe hey, publicist. She's doing flips in the kitchen right now. This flips. is the greatest Publicist, guess. what is this bullshit she's telling us? <laughs> Honestly, this tell is great. What did y'all talk about? I'm, on giving, t- y'all, I'm oh. giving y'all the most blanket answers possible. I love it. She that, just told that. us she yes. just wants to exist yes. and not be aware of not whatever think about the anything. future right. has planned. I don't want to think me. about it. I just want to. I just want to. don't want to think about. I just want to drink it now, away. Babe. I want to. I want to put one in the yeah. air. The solar <laughs> eclipse, Joe. What, what part don't you understand, Joe? She don't want to think about five years from now, my nigga. She living for right now. It's it's just like cranes in the sky. <laughs> hey, okay, you are fucking this up for more. <laughs> Shut up. What you mean? <laughs> this is great. I, uh, this is great. At least. Cause y'all see, y'all thought Bridget's gonna come on here with some whole other shit. <laughs> and she gave up, y'all something totally different. No, I love it. No, I Rory, it. Rory knew, Rory knew what it was gonna be when, when, when. I he asked. love it. For at least forty minutes, I've only been watching the facial expressions of the publicist. <laughs> I don't even care what's happening here anymore. Like the publicist is having a heart attack back there. Um, so Bridget, we do something here called sleepers. Is yes. it is it time for sleepers? Oh, I have emails. I don't know. Oh, oh wait, you have emails? emails, and we didn't even talk about Belly's album dropping. Oh yeah, Belly's album is phenomenal. Incredible, and I don't say that often. You say that every rap. week. Yeah. Not about rap. <laughs> you say that every time you take <laughs> every your week. Off. Everybody has every phenomenal. T- every every Henny Palooza. Every Henny hey, Palooza. Hey, it was for, it was they phenomenal. Pay, they pay for that exact copy. Okay. I'm just reading got off it. my phone. My All right, bad. got it, got <laughs> it. This one you're sincere <laughs> about. Right. I'm sincere about this one. Yeah. They did that. Uh, Boy Wonder sounds great. Some yeah. Boy Wonder beats that don't even sound like Boy Wonder beats. Yeah. But I mean that also in a good way. Now Belly came through with that shit. I yeah. like it a lot. That's all I got. Well, y'all know our champion, fam. Joe Joe. I also want to play uh, Belly. Uh, uh, Elliot belly. fucking Wilson sharing that Belly freestyle that Maul played as a sleeper three years ago. Right. And has, has claimed cool. that he broke that freestyle this week. No, he didn't claim that, did he? No, but oh, for the story. He did break it, nigga. <laughs> oh, yeah, I broke it, nigga. <laughs> Nobody heard it when you yeah, played right. it, nigga. Elliot, right. rap radar, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, we're never gonna take that title back. Elliot, Elliot, we love you. Um, yeah, Belly's album is great. I mean, there's really nothing to say about it. Belly's album is great. Uh, I'm mad that more people don't know that it's out. Uh, it's a really good album, and and more importantly than that, I like him. Uh, every interview I've seen from Belly, he he sounds like the hip hop I want to hear from. He sounds like an adult. Sounds like he's not with the little kid fraudulent bullshit. I like everything that Belly has to offer right this second at the moment. And I had anticipation because the only time I see Hove in pictures is either with Beyonce or, or Belly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or Belly. Yeah, I feel like I only see Hove pictures on my timeline when he's with Belly or Beyonce. That was the rollout. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like Hove was an interview. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I have no merit for that. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all had a beef? I just feel like you do. Not because we had a beef. Let me know how that go. We just sitting there talking to beat out now. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Wait, I, hey. I know why you, yo, you were such a dickhead, man. Because, what? Because I know why you said. Just go ahead, man. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Oh, you were right. such a dickhead. What is dickhead is about that? You're just a dick, man. You just, you just a dick. Because I want us to interview. Hope? No, no, no. Away from that. You just a dick. 
Oh, all right. Well, I can't argue that if you're just gonna say that. Uh, What's the sleep? What is the sleepers thing? What's that? Well, should we do emails? Sleeper. Oh emails? yeah, we have we have emails. Damn, I wanted to ask y'all about this creepy shit on Netflix called Gerald's Game with the old white girl that ends up handcuffing what? herself to the bed while the nigga she was having sex with has a heart attack and now she's just stuck in the house for an hour and forty minutes trying to escape. Man, oh, it's fuck. creepy. What what chambers of Netflix do you get into? What is it? <laughs> I, I don't even think that should be on Netflix. Like, which page Yo, is that pop up on? Like, 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 like trending now? Like watching. most popular? Like where do we find that? What page yeah. is that a part oh, of? Oh, I see. You guys were doing. I see. You know how you sign the whole because when you, when you what sign you into see? when you sign into Netflix, they be they give you stuff that they think that you're gonna watch. So that means that there was something relative Yo, to that. Y'all don't type laugh of shit at Joe watch. the way I do, like, man. Y'all don't be hearing him. On. Oh, I come see. On. I see what the room is trying. They're trying to peg me as the crazy guy. <laughs> Which yes, is nigga. What you're doing, yes, bro. you're fucking sick in your head, bro. What's wrong with you? Why do you watch this shit? Why is I see so funny? No, because you was like, oh, I see. <laughs> you just turned into the creep that everyone yeah. almost thought you were. You were watching creepy uh, shit. No, we all think creepy. That. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dismayed and oh, I see. <laughs> gave me Hannibal Lecter for a second. All right. I had a comeback, but. It's pointless now. <laughs> Y'all bodied it. Fuck Rory it. has What's emails. Email? Rory has emails. emails. Rory's going to read something to us. We finally got an email that wasn't uh, name your top 20 rappers. So oh, I figured we would bring the new email segment in. Yeah, we still on it. You never ranked Camp Low. I got mad niggas you Camp never Low ranked. Camp Low is not in my top 20. You ne- little, uh, it's mad niggas you never ranked. Chi Ali. He went to jail. Chi Ali. And he came out. <laughs> And you got to rank him to his face when you see him in the club and you're aware that he went to jail for a body. You got to rank him. <laughs> when guy. he comes up to you in the club, trust me, in it's the, happened. In the back of my, that's my guy. So. <laughs> yeah, I bet he bet he's my guy too. No, no, Shout no. out to him. In the back of my mind, I think he's on parole. <laughs> TLE will come here and shoot this whole shit up. Know, right? Top 20. <laughs> <laughs> Top five. <laughs> Top one. All right, you were saying. Uh, the subject to this is, should I fuck this bitch? Thought that was a good... You got our attention. That was the email subject? Yo, I ask myself that all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you don't. Well, no, I used to. Don't. I used to. I love you, baby. I love you. See? I love you. This all of the married men in this room love our significant others. Me, Chris, E, Parks, Rory, <laughs> Savon, M- <laughs> It's cool. Uh, never mind, Mom. You all were right. saying, Rory. Should I fuck this bitch? What's up, Joe, Rory, Maul, and Bridget, since you're here now? Hey, Bridget. Uh, I need some, <laughs> I need some big bro advice on this one. I know this girl who's trying to join the team, which she puts in quotations. Oh, she's real already. Join the <laughs> she's team. Trying to join she's trying to join the team. No, no, there's yes. a guy saying I'm. But she's trying to join the team. Though. She's trying to join. She's trying, that means the that she team. knows that there is there's a strong triangle I like offense. Her. I there's like a strong. <laughs> yeah. All right. Get it off. That's off. just the Get first thing. Uh, there's only one issue. She is my ex roommate's another in quotation best friend. Mm. Why is that? I know issue? this story already. <laughs> Why is that issue? Does that mean I knew this story the first time I read it more? I, I know this, this issue too. Go ahead. My ex roommate's best friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, I met her through him. That oh, means- there's more. I thought we were just answering. Now, yes was the answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. There's yes. More. Okay. She can audition for the team. <laughs> What's the problem? All right. There's only one issue. She's my ex uh, roommate's best friend. I met her through him, and he used to smash while we lived in the house together. Five dudes, one crib. Uh, he, oh, he was asking for that then. Them niggas live in a group home? <laughs> <laughs> five dudes and one. What the fuck is this? So it's five dudes, one, and her? Is that how that works? Why was, would, why uh, would she His that roommate was, was smashing Shorty. Listen. He heard what she was throwing back, and I think that's what's going on here. Why was the girl comfortable fucking in the crib with six niggas? Wait, she... Okay, so... Okay, it's more? I'm yeah, yeah. Right, please keep right, right, please, please carry on. Uh, he used to say he would marry her one day. But he's just getting the fuckery out of the system. They both are dating and fucking other people now. Should I expect uh, a fade if I hit Shorty? She's a good one to add to the team because she knows her position in the starting rotation. Mm. I'm cool with the dude, but not super tight. Mm. Uh, says, what's up type That's of homie. It, said, this is a key point right here. Just the what up type of homie mm. shouldn't oh. be an issue. It's my nigga. Mm. Oh, what's his name? I'm not going to say. Okay. All right, well, I don't want to know his name. I just want to know if he can fight. I want to know if he still lives in this. Like, is he going to be bringing Shorty into in his hostel. room? If he still lives in the hostel, then it's just you have no... It's the hostel at this point. <laughs> but it sounds like to me she, she was if ready you, for the... If you still living in a hostel, I feel like... 
Smashing like, should be the I, last thing on your mind. First no, year. honestly, yeah, yeah. if you, you still out. if you, you still live out. in the hostel, I feel like you might have already smashed. You just looking for for, for first some of sort all, of yeah. validation. First of all, yeah. I went to college. I went to college for a little while. Chicks don't have a problem walking by the same room that they smashed in before. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm waiting for y'all to This let me sounds answer. like he already did, and he's just looking for y'all to be like, yeah, it's cool, yeah. whatever, whatever, whatever. That's what this sounds like to me, because there's quotation marks. It sounds like she wanted to let all five of y'all smash, right. honestly. First of all, she's staying, she's she's also it's, staying in the hospital. Sounds like so. that's mall. <laughs> <laughs> I emailed the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, Rory. That's why I didn't want to say Joe. the name. Well, What's up, y'all? <laughs> Yo, let me Ma- talk to you niggas real quick. <laughs> <laughs> the show is crazy. Ma- mall, by the way, Joe. hotmail.com. The email in the show is crazy. Yo, Yo. in total, I mean, one time, or well, one time. <laughs> we- <laughs> that's funny as fuck. Yeah. Hey, that's funny. That's funny. I'm not going to lie. That's funny. <laughs> Me emailing the show she, asking y'all questions. She was in fuck- Joe's room right next door to mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, man. so to answer your question, Mo, Mo, oh my god, yes, <laughs> yes, you can. You should fuck the girl, Mo. Now, oh, man. just don't do it in the crib unless you can fight or at the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now, or if Bridget's here, please. Yeah, word. Do we Gross. have more? Uh, yeah, this one's a, a little bit more serious. I think they really need some advice. Okay. All right. This is a though that's a long paragraph. This sounds important. This is Glad severe. we can be here for you. <laughs> uh what's up, Joe Maul, Rory, and Bridget? Hey. My name is Brent. I need advice. Your name is trash. It's <laughs> <laughs> the first time. <laughs> and that's a terrible so way first to of all, start. I know this is bad. Terrible way to start. Terrible, terrible, way, to start. <laughs> terrible way to start. You already lost. Carry Brent on. is horrible, but what happened, Rory? Uh I'm a huge fan <laughs> of you guys' podcast. Keep up the great work. But my problem is since cuffing season is almost upon us. Mm. Uh oh. I was thinking. I need to have a few women in rotation <laughs> that I can be with this cuffing season. I have my eyes on this one girl at my college, uh, but my problem is that I'm shy as fuck when it comes to approaching women. All three of y'all seem to be very uh, very confident and uh, unafraid to express your thoughts. What gems can you provide for me so I can be confident and talk to these hoes? Gem, no, gem number one, if you can't talk to one woman... You shouldn't try to talk to more than one woman. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's start there, Mister. I'm too shy. That means you're gonna drop the ball every fucking time. Why? No, nah, but why? you gotta start Some, somewhere. Don't, don't some women like do? shy guys? Yes. Nah. We, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to. <laughs> they, 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 they just no. say that because they're supposed to say it. <laughs> yeah. No. No, they, they don't. They don't. They don't like no fucking shy guys. They don't. No. I didn't even hear what his question was, but yeah, Brent, fuck it. He was trying to. He was looking for. He's, he's trying to figure out how to approach, how to approach a woman. Oh, you know what he's got to do. He's got to. He's got to fuck some fat girls first. Well, don't tell the them your. The, don't. Yeah. Get an yeah, alias. You know. Fuck some fat girls. <laughs> you got to. Yeah, the trading wheels. How about don't tell them your name is Brent? Yeah, stop walking up to bitches talking about hi. I'm Brent. How? Change your name. No, Let's give him a different alias. Let's give him an alias. I have a few women in my rotation. Oh, he's already got women in the rotation. Anytime a nigga says he has a few niggas in his rotation, first off, you're lying. You're lying. He got a few women in his rotation, but he wants. To settle down with one for with this people. one chick at his college, of course, he's too shy oh, to talk to her. Brent, you got to get shy. out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's a little. It's a little sus. It's Brent a little sus. sus. Brent middle name. The rotation. The rotation. The rotation sounds sus. The, the, yeah. No. The rotation sounds sus. The rotation yeah, sounds sus. That's like the, yeah. All, like your rotation means that you who, watch who you watch Hulu with one girl, you watch Netflix with the other girl, you watch HBO now with the I other. I don't even think that. I don't think any does Bridget know these things. Maul, how about your rotation? I don't have one. I was gonna. I was about to say. I think any man that says he has a rotation don't have, don't a, rotation. have a rotation. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but Maul got mad katana gift cards. What? What? <laughs> no fucking katana gift. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you? I haven't been to katana. I'm saying so you long. be in L. A. Bridget be Supreme in L. A. Gift cards. Oh my. Definitely Y'all be in L. A. You wouldn't take You'd be Bridget in LA too. on an all expenses paid to dinner to katana. No. <laughs> no. No. Niggas ain't going to katana. No. It's over. <laughs> Hook, uh, what 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 do y'all like to do? Hollywood hookah? That's your spot. That's your spot. I can't stand Joe. No, right now. no. Chill, don't hate Hollywood. Joe so we definitely went to Hollywood. That's definitely your spot. I hate y'all for Hollywood hookah and for Katana. Hollywood hookah is not your spot. No. Oh my god. We were there six months ago. That's not true. Joe, not for nothing. I'm sorry, but people in the back saying that's not true. They throwing you under the whole bus, Joe. I've been to Hollywood hookah at least four times with you, and it's been your idea every time. Wow. Wow. Wait, is Siobhan saying it? Wow. Shout out Hollywood. Siobhan was there for one of the times. <laughs> it's your idea every, every time. Every time I went to Hollywood, cats, cats I swear to back, God, Joe. Amani invited me. Cats out the back, Joe. <laughs> I, if I'm going down, <laughs> I take this whole organization down, goddammit. 
<laughs> Hollywood hookah. They think they fancy because they redid it in the back. Fuck out of here. <laughs> sure, the back is kind of fire, though. The back is dope. They redid it in the back. <laughs> the back is dope. And everything. Is the back not dope? It's trash. The back it is kind of cool, dope. though. It's just, it's dope. You know what's funny? I like it now. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. But I can't tell people I like it because they ruined the name already. All right. <laughs> this, this episode 132 so of the Joe Button Podcast. We we are back with our beautiful guest, Bridget Kelly. Hey. Do we have sleeper picks? Yeah. Did we, did we tell Bridget what sleepers were, though? I don't no, I don't even know what, what, what is a sleeper. Stop Play, flirting. Play some shit. <laughs> she, <laughs> asked what a, she asked what a sleeper yeah, was. Yeah, but is that your tone? Did we tell Bridget what sleepers oh, was God. together? Here we go. <laughs> together. Here we go. Sleeper right. is a man that you may not be looking at, but maybe you should look over. Jesus yeah, Christ. we're. <laughs> You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, that's what I'm saying. All right, so uh, <laughs> I don't have a sleeper, so somebody has to go first. What is a sleeper? Please Pause. clarify. Uh, it's a song that people may not know. I would suggest playing yours. Yeah, I was play, gonna play, yours. play one of yours. Okay, somebody should the play record, one. The of record Bridget's. you sent me. Yeah, the, I sent. I sent you one. Yeah, but if you was gonna play that, you should have said, "Hey, the record you sent me." Like it just takes off the. Well, I was going to play it, but that you just hear. ruined it. Yeah. Did we Warrior just kill Christmas? We, here, though. We, just, we just killed Christmas? We play the one that Christmas. you sent me and told me to play when I get a chance. <laughs> Bridget did not. She don't know what a sleeper is. She ain't telling me to play it. I didn't know what a sleeper I don't know what a sleeper is. Look at Maul. You don't know what a sleeper is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just actually shocked that y'all two have never met, honestly. We they met. met. I went to dinner. I, Maul was we with all, me. We all hung out. We all hung out. At, at, we had dinner at some random spot, and it was great. the truth? <laughs> Why do they keep telling me the truth? Who cares? Rory, what the fuck? You can't even find it. It's on SoundCloud, B. I got to put the whole Yo, link in. Next I mean, no, I actually I, I texted. I actually time. texted. I know, I couldn't click it. I couldn't click it. That's why I copied and pasted oh, it from our text message. Okay. It's not playing now, though, right? It's definitely playing yeah, right now. Yeah, you quiet. <clears throat> what is she on? The T Pain acoustic tour? Yes. I won't hold my breath if you ask me to. I'd be dead if I wait for you. You can't say that and cheat. <laughs> this is a new relationship, Joe. Shit. Oh, true, true, true. So these dudes won't see what you don't see. I sure hope you hear me. Cause soon you won't see me. Cause I'ma find a man who loves me. A man who needs me. More than you ever did. Oh. And when I'm happy, please just be happy. Yeah, because y'all always fucking. Who the fuck is gonna be happy for you? What is she talking about? (laughs) (laughs) There are women in this. It's a a request. It's a request. It's gonna only be a request. What I know now, because if I did, maybe I could have gave you enough for me to save you. But there I go again, putting you first. I sacrificed myself, but still it don't work. And it still hurts. So if I find a man who loves. A man who needs me more mm. than you ever did. No. Somebody in the crib heated. Happy, yeah, the nigga she cheated on. Happy, <laughs> unhappy as fuck for me. He like, oh, unhappy, now, unhappy now she got the fuck. point. <laughs> for me. Unhappy. This shit made me want to call my girl. Y'all so cute. I thought you and me. Have we confirmed if he's happy for you? Who is ever he's happy, not happy for, for the me. girl? He's currently not happy for me. He's well, <laughs> currently, he's currently unhappy for me, about me. Doesn't doesn't matter. Just all across the board. He's actually happy without me, so I don't know if happy for me is is the best is the best way to feel. Well, that is Bridget Kelly happy for me, Thanks, even guys. though he is not. Ladies happy. and gentlemen, <laughs> brand new off the Bridget Kelly project. That is, be happy for me. Even yeah. After I, 
left your ass alone. <laughs> <laughs> Miserable. <laughs> Cheated Even on Even though I ass. know you're really upset. Even though I left you. Be happy. Now I'm happier than I've ever been. And you should be happy for me, Brandon. <laughs> Rory, Rory, Rory. Oh. Turn, <laughs> turn down bad. your little cleanup playlist you got there. <laughs> Not the cleanup playlist. Um, while we think of whatever the next sleeper is, I want to announce it. that Complex has a brand new sports show no. coming your way. Are you hosting? <laughs> you were yeah, definitely right. paid to say Please. this. I feel yeah. like they need to. I feel like nah, they. I'm they, not paid at my morning job. <laughs> 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 they need to pay. But um, uh, anyway, that's enough of the promo there. You have to pro- Was that? Was that mandated? Was you have, did you have the promo yeah. that? Joe, does, nothing is mandated. Joe doesn't. Joe. You were about to talk about yourself. Th- you talking about the third person? That's Joe intense. Doesn't That's intense. Doesn't Y'all let him mandate. do that? Mandate. Y'all let him talk about himself in the third Man- person? Mandate is also a I word. Mandate is also a really not a word. Dismayed at your mandate claims. All right. Come on, uh, Rory. Play your fucking barefoot song. He was talking about being mandated. Barefoot and song. Yeah, everything he plays. Everything is holistic. Music. But you everything are Everything Rory got barefooted. is holistic. Siobhan gonna make friends with any black girl that's in the room, by the way. <laughs> 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 I don't know if niggas knew that about Siobhan, but it's cool. Oh Siobhan, what up, baby? I love you. I just love you and Karan. And he said you make friends with every black... Any, if there's a yeah, black girl in the room, you, Siobhan's yeah. going to be her gonna, friend. She's going to make some friends. So. She feels the energy. She's like, I'm going to go in there because that's, yeah, where, that's where the love is. She's one of those... What is it? Earthy souls, we called it? Not a... Don't do that. A free spirit, like yeah, y'all said. <laughs> yeah, her husband, my man, so I'm going to chill out. <laughs> She's, she's married, a married, married she's a spirit. married free spirit. She's free spirit with women. So you that guys, can be we great can, for we can trust her. That means that she has she makes female friends oh, easily. That's a good moment. Well, that's a good, that's a good moment. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, y'all talk about the now, y'all talk about their people's husbands. Come on, all right, we girl. joking, man. <laughs> You're being faithful somewhere. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and E and Rory and Chris. All of us are faithful. Savon, you got a girl? And Savon. <laughs> We're all faithful. Come on, Rory, play Savon this shit. That age, Wait. With a girl. Wait, uh, you twenty three and I'm faithful? Sorry. If you don't take your ass and go, <laughs> why? Oh, I got you. Fucking children out of condom over. or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you, got to be home. <laughs> We're gonna fix the bar right up, and then get us uh, the rock zodiac. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rory. is that considered cheating? <laughs> Finding the rock zodiac. You keep making me laugh. I'm going to touch Bridget's knee and get in trouble. Come on, man. This is Sabrina uh, Claudio uh, Wait from her new project. Oh, I was going to play something from here. Oh, well, you tight. I went first. I mean, I feel like Sabrina Claudio is no longer a singer. I feel like everybody knows about her. We broke her on you. This is a good, this is a good. <laughs> Don't let your girls be Give me a question things. Do I want you? Do I need you? I know what you're trying to hear. And I want to say it to you. But you 
brand new from Sabrina Claudio. That one is called I Can't wait. See Rory's Phone. So <laughs> <laughs> That is called Wait. Uh, or, wait. or Wait. That is what that one is. Uh, let's see. What is this shit here? So y'all are into barefoot. Y'all are into barefoot, barefoot music. That's the thing. All of Rory's music is fucking. That's real barefoot, barefoot music. Shit. That's your fire. He I'm plays it on his, on his little evolution of music display in his house. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> shit hard though. <laughs> evolution. You was complimenting me <laughs> off off mic. You was complimenting me. I know you the nigga. <laughs> my my little room yeah, nice. You snitching. Don't tell niggas I complimented you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you supposed to take that one to the grave, I think. What are you talking about? You supposed to take that one to the grave, I think. So this is called, uh, this is a song by a gentleman by the name of Hablo, Hablo Brown? It's H-A-B-L-O-T. Now put that accent back I don't know if it's Hablet, Hablo, I don't know what it is, but this is my barefoot music when I think Rory's home being barefoot music, and this is called She Said. You barefoot right now. I love being barefoot. I think we all should be barefoot. Nah. Forever. That's going to be a no for me, it's though. Too, too, too free-spirited for me today. Sorry, guys. Maul got supreme feet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, this that beer for... Come on, Rory. Don't front. <laughs> Rory got a front now like it ain't hard. Fuck out of here. Pause. I should I? <laughs> this is... You got to get the broom in the mop. Say you got to get the Maul yeah. definitely sweeping up the corridor. She <laughs> said, I don't want to make the project so lobby. Not the corridor. Not the project lobby. I hate you. For those that, that didn't know what the corridor was. Baby, just give me a sign. Because I don't want to call you back no more. Once I step at the, that door, baby, I'm gone. I've been lonely, you've been gone Tell me where did I go wrong But don't be jealous when I get up and leave She said I don't want to waste any more of your time It's getting late, I should go now Baby, just give me a sign That was Hablo Brown. <laughs> that was brand new from Hablo Brown 101.9. Here we are. Uh, all right, Maul. All right. What did West Side Gun and them put out this week? First of all, they just put some out some heat. MF Doom shit that's heat. But I ain't gonna they put it. out something with MF Doom? West Side and uh, MF Doom are putting a project together with uh, Parks. Help me out here. Who's producing it? Alchemist. Alchemist and uh, Derringer. Derringer. Yeah. Which is going to be wild. That sounds great. I'm so mad at Alchemist. I'm super hyped about that. I want an Alchemist beat. I'm retired. I still want it. like 12. 
All right, I'm gonna play uh, some of Belly Project. I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play Lullaby. Definitely in my top four off that album. Yeah. Yeah, e- even before Maul plays this, check out the whole Belly album because it's it's really good. Yeah, I'm talking to, to our our listeners. Every time I die a little more inside. One that told me speak on it, I'ma speak on it. Fuck it. Yeah. All right. Wonder if God heard me pray when I was trying to repent. If He didn't, I know we heard my mother cry over rent. Then you wonder why the mood inside this room is so tense. No offense, but I don't really got nowhere to go vent. Oh yeah, success is like a drug, and I'm behind on the scent. Feel like I wasted all the money and the time that I spent. Maybe the tears inside my eyes had me blind with revenge. I told her even if we crash, I'ma ride to the end. Tag yeah, go lying again. Don't know why I pretend. Hold up. Let me try this again Lord, you know I never open up Abusing drugs, never thinking I was dope enough She's over me when I'm the one that she's supposed to love At least my heart broke enough for the both of us They told me play your part Boy, we different, you smart Let her lay in your bed, don't ever let a bitch in your heart Still around the same ones that I was with from the start Though the distance got us drifting apart Felt betrayed, swear to God, to this day, man, this shit hit my heart Wanted to shine so bad that I got left in the dark Still love you, can't help but see that kid in the park Run around the town looking for some shit we could start Any issue, I was right there with it I I bought my dream house, but I've been having nightmares in it The game ugly, just tell me why you can't love me Or why the fuck you're ashamed dummy, you can't judge me That's why I stay numb And the smartest thing I ever did was play dumb Uh, Staying up nights till my day comes Old memories had me wishing that we stayed young Uh, I'm a mess thinking less so I'm saying more I talk to God about you so I'm praying more That's why I smoke a hundred blunts straight Pops left, moms cried for a month straight Used to cry too, but I would never show her Superwoman, feel blessed if you ever know her Look at all the shit that we made it through They bugged the house and they raided too If that ain't ironic, I'm a crazy fool Play it cool, baby, play it cool They don't acknowledge my accomplishments My op was just an optimist Some cop and shit, but still I'm not convinced That this is opulence I could probably fuck Pocahontas Right out her moccasins Killing everything that I'm authoring Like an offering Ten stitches with my limbs twitching You ever went through withdrawal Till your skin itches? <laughs> Screaming fuck what you think Tears falling while I write it down Smudging the ink uh. Please pour out a couple of drinks Sometimes I wish that I was up there with cheeks You wouldn't even care if I ever died So I wrote this for the tears that you never cry Lullaby That's Belly off his new project, Mumble Rap, that's Lullaby Check out that whole album That whole album is just like that <laughs> Shout out to Boy Wonder, cause they killed that shit Boy Wonder Who else is on that? Pusha T is, is the only feature I think Push your T, y'all that's didn't a, rank. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good. He's up there feature. for me. I think we did rank. Pusha no, T. we didn't. We never ranked Pusha T. There's a million rappers to rank. Uh, that Belly shit is hard. I want to. I want to shout out to Belly. Belly, you ever in New York? You're a friend of the show, man. Feel free to come up here and kick it about real rap shit. I, I like. I like that you rap and you're new, even though you're not young like you're new. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Belly been around. Has he? How many years? Tell me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. He's, he's been writing. Music for um, while, for years. Shit, Belly wrote on Beyonce's Lemonade album. Uh, the, the record really? of the weekend. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Belly was a writer on that. Belly's been around for a long time. Yeah, he's been, he's been doing So the Belly has made uh, his way as a writer. Yeah. I don't think Pretty I'm dope. standing incorrected. I think he's produced a little bit as well. He's real stylish. Yeah. To be a bigger guy is, is what I'm saying. Yeah, he lost like a him. lot of weight, though. I, I, I fuck with him. Belly, shout out, shout out to you, man. Which, by but, the way, on that one. Him losing weight and drop that big pun sample in the I just lost 100 pounds, I'm trying to live. Mm-hmm. Didn't really work out for pun the way I think Belly was trying to. I, it was just an odd thing to throw in there. I get what he was doing. I get what he was doing, though. I, I do too. But yeah, that line is creepy to hear now. It's yeah, very. It's, a little, it's, it's a little when, he, when he dropped that, I was like, oh, I don't know, Belly. Pun only died right after he said it. Yeah. 
It was horrible. Anyways. Man, I don't want to end on that note. With that yeah, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> awkward silence. Let's uh, in conclusion. Uh, episode 132 <laughs> of the Joe Buck Buck. And we are, listen, you guys are phenomenal. I want to, listen, let me hit the applause button for our guest here. Hey. Uh, let's, get, let's get some applause. Let's turn the applause up a little. Thanks, guys. Uh, can I get the aux? Can the applause actually sound good? Where? Uh, oh, thanks. Oh. I mean, we could just clap. Where's? Well, you clap until I hit the applause <laughs> button, nigga. <laughs> we could just clap. Ready, go. All right, here we and we are back. Hit the button. Yeah, turn it down. <laughs> Bridget, I want to thank you. We do not have guests on this podcast. Oh. And I'll just keep it all the way funky with you. Anytime we have a woman here, we all hate it. The fans hate it. We don't ever want to hear from women. I mean, really. the fans are, the fans are probably going to hate me too, but it's fine. No, I, no, I'm actually, no, 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 they're going to like you. No, I'm you, actually you enjoying. I'm actually enjoying being hated. This shit, love and hip hop has made, has gotten me a lot of hate, and it's actually been very entertaining for me. I didn't more so than I thought I would. I would actually. I didn't think I was going to enjoy the you know clapping back as much. Are as are, I had, are you and Brooke cool now? Yeah. 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 We were always cool. Oh, well, your behavior wasn't like y'all were always cool. I mean. I mean we're but I catty. do like I do like the friend the friend, the friend part. It's a, of, it's a it's a friend. There's a friend. It's a frenemy thing. It's kind of a frenemy okay. thing. You've frenemy is a frenemy only really applies to to females. I feel like I feel like men are not frenemies. If y'all don't fuck with each other, That's you just don't fuck with gay. each other. That's wild. What's wild niggas that don't like each other that be taking that pictures? Be just no. fake, just put, more put frauds. Frenemies. Just put them on the frauds list too. Yeah, Damn. That's the new. That's the new. real? Fake is the new real. When am I moving back to New York? I don't know. Me and Rory are definitely frenemies. <laughs> no, I don't like you. We're not friends. <laughs> we just be enemies. No. Oh, all right, fine, whatever. But I, I do think you should move back to New York. I, I don't understand why all the talented New York people. I mean, are I've just I've Los been in Angeles. LA. Well, here's the thing: I've been in LA for six years, and I've been bi coastal, so Trash. I go back and forth. So it's worked in my favor. I like yeah, it. When I'm you, tired of when I don't want to fucking deal with the winter, and I don't want to be on the fucking supermarket. I don't want to be on the subway with all the other sweaty homeless people. Then I like to. I rather just sit in my air conditioned car in traffic That's on the four hundred five. Joe is definitely moving to LA. Publicist didn't bat an eye at on the subway with all the other <laughs> homeless smelly people. I just want to point that out, publicist. In the that summertime, you're cool. it smells like homeless. It smells like everything all smells right. like homeless I took on the, the train. train here. She's from Am LA, must be the publicist. No, she's <laughs> she feels me. She don't nobody first of all, none of y'all enjoy a, a train in July with no well, air I conditioning. Hate, I've never been a part of a train. <laughs> what kind of New Yorker art? Never mind. He's that's a, that's a Jersey. That's, that's, a, Jersey that's a Jersey thing. That's a Jersey that's thing. That's a Jersey about. thing. Oh, wait, so I wasn't. New Yorkers. <laughs> New Yorkers take the train. I don't Yorkers, think he's talking about the subway. The AC. The AC. The AC doesn't work on the train. Nah, the AC doesn't always work on the train. Not the no, what train? What train? What train? What train are you on that's terrible. always popping? Because the, the MTA is always under construction and always well, got some fact, shit going on. The AC is always good. I'm the actual train. The platform Which train? Is crazy. The All right, enjoy I not eating right, any good food wait, you're in not LA. Gonna, you're not going to enjoy you're your traffic. Gonna, you have Come earthquakes. On, I like yeah. the traffic. Shut the fuck up, you don't y'all. even have a There's real water source. hurricanes here. What are you uh, talking about? The whole earth shakes, really? <laughs> Not get the fuck off. The whole so, earth. so all of y'all underwater and the nobody can swim? That's fucked up. Don't do that. burgers. I'm so none of y'all, sick none of y'all can swim. The funny none shit of, is, we all Joe surrounded is by water, but nobody can swim when a hurricane comes? He's definitely going to move to LA in the next two years. 100%. You don't know what I'm going to do in a couple years. I bet you live in LA. Live. You already contemplating it. I'm wow. having a baby in New York. What does that mean? What I'm, is not right? what does that mean? I'm not bringing my baby to LA. Why not? <laughs> I mean, not out That's the womb. Of... It's not like Sin's going to have yeah, the baby not, and you're like, okay, we're going to LA. Labor, not no. like that. I'm yeah. not even bringing Sin to LA. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Wait, that's Damn it, I'm not bringing Sin or my baby to man. LA. Sorry. Jesus. Sorry. Shit. Yeah, right. I, I be not wanting to go outside. Y'all talking about go to LA. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end this. Baby, I love you if you're listening. Oh, you are my, my everything. I cannot when you're in wait. the house, <laughs> I cannot wait to see you. We're not moving to LA. But Sin don't want to move to LA either. I mean, and we keep it above. Sin, sin don't well, here's wanna, the thing. Certain New Yorkers, I believe, Bridget, honestly, mm-hmm. if you are a true New Yorker, yeah, true, not like all, Siobhan we... and Imani, true New Yorker. <laughs> but Siobhan's then, from Oakland. <laughs> she's not a true New Yorker. Yeah, she she's came, she's yeah, from the Bay. She she's came out of here, so. fucking bagged her husband and made him move. That's trash. I mean, that's swag, but. I was going to say, that's <laughs> I was like, swag. that's kind of fly. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. That's but Bridget, fly. you don't think you're, but. You don't no, think, I mean, no, I'm You don't think your soulmate is in New York? Tell me that you think your soulmate is in L.A. eating a vegan burger and a yogurt. <laughs> honestly, a honestly. And tell, a yogurt. Yeah. I know, I'm on his side. Tell, tell me your soulmate is at Bossa Nova waiting meal. for you. <laughs> I want to hear it. 
Yo, Joe is killing LA right I'm now. I'm asking a valid question. Yeah, well, my soulmate LA. might be in Whole Foods, but it might be in Manhattan. It's okay. It's fine. I, I don't know where my soulmate is. Your soulmate is. is not taking a shot of wheatgrass at 10 a.m. to yeah. go into office. Yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> like, You're right. That's not, You're right. That's not happening. Yeah. I mean, was, my, my soulmate my soulmate is going to appreciate VSOP the same way he does some acai berry, okay? No, Let's be no, real clear. My soulmate vod- is well-rounded. He's going to get a vodka soda because it doesn't My soulmate calories. doesn't drink vodka at <laughs> all. My soulmate is definitely taking an order at my Saddle s- Ranch pursuing his <laughs> acting career. I, he's on the bull. I hate you. <laughs> Being on the bull at Saddle Ranch as a man is yeah, crazy. Yeah, word. Talking about his Bridget here. As a man, should that never be on the bull soulmate. at Saddle Ranch. And, and it was his birthday. Yeah, that was yeah. crazy. And Sorry, he's been on the bull all night. That's your soulmate, Bridget. That's we're, crazy. We're, we're sorry. Being Boy, on the bull is that's crazy. So <laughs> that's so foul. That's so foul. No, I I believe I believe that that New York. Did you get on the Saddle oh, Ranch Bowl, Joe? Oh! <laughs> hold on, Amani. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Amani. Wait a minute. Do we have more sleepers? Because we got more shit to talk about. Wait a minute. Yo, Joe, you did not This is a me. story that will go down in the love and hip-hop history books. Duh. But what wait, is the truth? You rode the bull? The what mechanic is, is alive? Yo! Fam, I had to knock the whole thing out. Joe, you rode I the can't. mechanical you rode the bull? bull? Nah, son. You rode the bull, Joe? Nah, I really got you got an Iman, no, how gotta, true is this? For us... Joe, you rode the you mechanical rode the bull. You were at Saddle Ranch. Listen, man, any nigga that rode the mechanical up. bull You were saddled up at Saddle Ranch. Ranch. No, no, no. Wait Look a minute. In front of me now. Wait. Chris is looking at me <laughs> with sheer disappointment. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at you are. with such dismay. Dismay. Now, now I'm dismayed. Nigga, you rode the mechanical I'm bull. I'm, I'm, a, I'm slightly dismayed. Oh, my. It's mad rigor and Monroe in there. <laughs> it's a whole bunch Monroe. of rigor in Monroe. But wait, that's... that. Rigored and I'm rigor and Monroe. I'm rigor and Monroe. And Monroe. Why am I rigor rigor and Monroe and Monroe right now? <laughs> Wait, that's not. Fuck? But that wasn't swag. <laughs> no, no, oh. that wasn't swag. Right, yeah. Not when you, not when you, you just stop to play my song. Right, we gotta end this. All right, guys. Oh my. Wow, there's right. footage. There's footage. Wait, hold right, on, hold everyone. on. Joe, Damn. Thank you for tuning in to the Joe Button. Thank you. Joe asked, said, "Yo, here's my phone. Take this video. It's a video." There's footage. He lied. <laughs> Y'all niggas oh worship Joe. God. Joe looks mad scared. Yo, Joe. Oh, man. Yo, the fear in your Don't eyes. Lie. The fear in your eyes. See, this is the shit that kills about me, this man. this potential Saddle Ranch footage. Oh, Never. My God. Ever. Nah. Shit, not the best. I am such shit. rigor Fucking in Monroe lie. right now. <laughs> There's so much I'm rigor so... in Monroe in here. <laughs> I think I'm more rigored than I am I think I'm more rigored than I am I'm more Monroe. I think I'm a little more on the Monroe I'm a little more rigored. Wait, little just more so rigged. I'm clear, before we end this podcast, nobody else in this room has gotten on the mechanical board. No! no. no. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right. And I'll see you and guys next week. I'll see and you next week. And we're out. We're going to fuck about y'all.